let's get into it. So we are starting up this evening with change stream title. I did stream, change the stream title. Did I not change the stream title? I'm pretty sure the stream title is different, bro. Why you gotta? Why you gotta throw that in my throw that in my craw? Pretty sure. Yeah, we're good. We good. Although I, my dashboard's being silly, so hold on a second. All right. Let's try this again. Three, two, fun. All righty, let's get into it here. So we are revisiting four color. Iceberg, named for its snow theme, as well as playing blue, black, red, and green. So we are playing a four-color control deck, mid-rangey control deck here, with a bunch of four ofs. It's super tight, and this was brought to us by Joseph Telecki, who won a face-to-face -face modern open with this list a few weeks back, about a month back probably at this point. And there was an exact copy of this in fourth place uh, of that same tournament. So, uh, generally speaking, we're just going to be grinding out value here. We've got Renin 6, one of my favorite cards in all of Modern. We've got four copies of Dead of Winter, which is a little speculative, as some people have pointed out, but I really liked it the last time we played this list. We've got two copies of Uro, one copy of Coligan's Command, one copy of Royal Scions, two copies of Jace, one copy of Abominable Tree Folk. We're playing Cryptic Command with no Mystic Sanctuary Engine, just the one Cryptic Command. Amazingly, we're playing four Prismatic Vista, four Fabled Passage, and four Field of Ruin, and ten, count them, ten Snow-Covered Basics. So we are very resilient to our opponent attempting to play uh, Field of Ruin. So generally speaking, we're going to be able to attack uh, non-basic land bases very well. We have nothing on one except for Arkham, Arkham's Astrolabe, so we're kind of safe from Chalice of the Void out of Etron. Although when I played this list against Trophy Leader the Tunneling Cat last time, they were able to get a Chalice on two and three. We did lose that game, but we did win the match. And uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of decent sideboard cards. We've got four copies of Leyla in the Void and two Ashiok, so I'm guessing Dredge is a terrible matchup for us, or at least we want to be able to, uh, to power through that when we hit that. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to be keeping notes today and looking out for is the one copy of Royal Silence, one copy of Culligan's Command, one copy of Abominable Tree Folk. I really like the way this deck is constructed with a bunch of four ofs, but we've got two Snapcasters and then a bunch of these one ofs. I'm wondering if we need a third Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath. One of the reasons why we wouldn't want one is we're not playing anything like Thought Scour to get the Uros out quickly like the deck that I played last weekend did. So... Uh, we don't have a lot of ability to kind of power out Uro uh, quickly. Uro's more fair and mid-rangey in this deck. We're just going to kind of play him fair and as intended. Oh, do I still have the thing on? When we switch over to gameplay, is it going to be there? No, I got rid of it. Cool. No more Girl Smash. The end of last night, if anyone was around for that, it was a fabulous time playing uh, uh, what a Thick Grohl. The thickest of Grohl. We just smashed people dead real good. Looks like Tunneling, Tunneling Cat is sitting on their 27 trophies pretty hard. So uh, I wonder if anyone's going to be able to overtake them before the end of the trophy season here. So match the first. Winning the die roll. Good place to start. Oh my god, it's Jacob Kaminsky. Jacob Kaminsky. He's a uh, streamer that specializes in playing all sorts of variants of Blue Moon. So I'm going to be. Uh, that's what I'm going to expect to be against. Um, so the flaw of this hand is our Renin 6 might walk into a turn 1 spell snare, but, uh, 
that's the cost of doing business here, and this hand is excellent otherwise, so we're going to keep this. So we're going to lead with Prismatic Vista because this makes the least likelihood for them to know exactly what we're doing here. They're going to pass here. Makes it pretty likely that they have Spell Snare or Opt. So I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to just fire this Renin 6 in here. Oh, well, that's really going to screw up my colors if it doesn't resolve. Although I can play Field of Ruin next turn, Field them and then play Uro the turn after, so we might not be in too much trouble. All right, we're firing Ren and Six in here. There's a good chance of that the card they have up is Opt or Lightning Bolt, either one of which is going to result in us being in a really good place here. So the list that I played from them previously was two copies of Spell Snare, and they didn't know what we were on there. Force of Negation. All right, uh, because of the way Force is worded, we can't Force back there, so... Quality play. Uh, yep, thing in the ice here. Thing in the ice is not particularly good against our deck because of cards like this. So. I'm going to fire in the field here. We've got Force of Negation if they try to play any big non-creature spell here on their turn. And we're definitely firing off this field end of turn to get our blue source. Hopefully they don't float the mana and then play some sick three or four mana instant here. They fire off an opt. Fair. Fair. Okay, so if I don't get black mana here, I can't cast Drown in the Lock. And so we are running into some color clunkiness due to not drawing a um, blub, 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 Arkham's Astrolabe by now. But say la vie. Okay, that doesn't help me much. Let's try to fire off this Udo. Good chance it eats a, a remand here. Maybe Archmage's Charm. All right. So really looking for a black source coming up soon. Oof. I wonder if my yeah. Now the question is, do we pitch a Force of Negation? I think keeping them low on cards is good here. So if we do draw a Black Source, this is an easy kill. But we do need to draw it in a hurry, so... Alright, uh, well that should have been Uro, but we don't have enough cards in our graveyard, so we are in trouble here. So if they've got another Bolt or a Snapcaster, we're done here. Alright. Blackland? 
Snapcaster. I mean, it's potentially a blocker. Although it can't flash back any relevant spells, so that sucks. Fetch line is not too bad for me to see. Let's leave the widest swath of colors open here. Oh, goodness gracious. So we just toast. Mystic Sanctuary, sure. Put Bolt on top, sure. Counter draw. Yeah. We're done anyway. So nice jaw draw out of uh, Jacob there. Got us good. So blue moon, you say. All right. Force of negation seems good here. Fatal push might be okay against the thing in the ice deck. I don't think there's anything else that's particularly relevant here. Ashiok could be okay. Maybe Abrupt Decay is better than some Assassin's Trophies because the current list he's playing is um, not playing Emrakul or, or the um, Through the Breach combo and is playing a very light number of win conditions. It's the Thing in the Ices, Snapcaster Mages, and one Ral, if it's the same list that I saw from earlier this week. Dead of Winter is probably quite poor here. Colgan's Command as a maybe two for one is all right. Cut a Ice Fang Quattle, perhaps? No, it's pretty good against the um, thing in the ice. I think maybe just keep out one Fatal Push because Drown in the Lock is pretty good here. And then maybe one more trophy since there's very few permanents we need to kill out of them. Although. Yeah, maybe we'll just bring in the one Ashiok, because Ashiok is not great in this matchup, just just reasonable. Alright, uh, this is a great opening hand, so we're going to keep this one. Turn two, Ren and six with the fetch land. Opponent also keeps seven, so... This hand, we're not in as much trouble if our Ren 6 gets countered, so pretty happy to just fire it off here. Shoot. Oh. Nice. Just getting the F6 value there. So making them get basics probably has some value here, but being able to fetch with my Renin 6 is also good, or being able to accrue extra value with my Renin 6 is also good, so let's grab a black source and then pick up my Wista. We're light on spells in this hand, but it should be all right. No value Snapcaster. I think we will counter with no value Ice Fang. Okay. Results. So I'll make them fire off a bolt on my Ice Fang, and then maybe they attack it for or, uh, Ice Fang, and then maybe attack my Renifix six for two. Okay, so good trade for us. We went up a card there. Unfortunate.
Okay, so I have a land I can play. I'm pretty sure I'm just Assassin's Trophying this while they're tapped down. And then if they have Force of Negation for this, then... Okay, cool. If they had Force of Negation for that, we would be able to uh, sort of power through. So I want to get black or green on this one, which kind of sucks, but we can still play... Um, still be able to play Cryptic Command next turn, so should be all right here then. If this is Ral, that would be the worst case scenario for us, but then we get to trophy it, so that's not too bad. Not planning on Yeah, so I think play Snow Covered Island, take a brand six on nothing, and then pass the turn here. See what they've got. If it's just something like lightning bolt, we're gonna let that happen. Arc may just charm for themselves to draw two. That's fine. So they go up a card on that one, but we're ahead on a bunch of relevant axes, so. Fire out this Ice Fang. What do you got? Pass to my turn. Upkeep bolt me. Or bolt my random six. Gust. Well, that's really unfortunate. How did they end up with seven cards in hand? They did they miss a land drop? Okay, we're gonna put that on the bottom. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Yes, this would have been an okay turn to fire off the, or at least put the field of rune into play, but. Sorry. Play the backup run in six. Deprive. Uh, I think that's all right. Not really able to fight it with this hand, unfortunately. They can't. Or if they tap down for Ral this turn, we're in a really good place, though. And they didn't deprive resetting a Mystic Sanctuary, so... Okay, I think we're EOT playing a Snapcaster for Tempo. Probably fire off Assassin's Trophy at their land if they let me. So one of the unique angles that the, this deck is able to attack on is... Shoot, that could be bad. We'll see. One of the unique angles that this deck is well positioned to attack on is attacking people's non-basic lands. Next turn we're able to field of ruin their steam vents here. Which is kind of great. They didn't do anything with the mana there, so. Hooray for everything. Got seven mana thanks to our wonderful Ren 6 having us hit every land drop up to this point. Fire off this astrolabe, cycle that bad boy, bad mamma jamma. They would like to draw two cards. We got cryptic command and assassin's trophy. Sure, you can draw what you want.
route. Okay, so we're just going to cryptic that. Counter target spell, draw a card. Yeah. I have force backup, so I can field them first. Oh, but that gives them a land with which to do stuff. Maybe we just force of negation here? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. No, cryptic's better. Counter target spell, draw a card. This is their turn. If we need to force some negation, we can, but they were tapped down there. And there's a drown the lock to basically seal up this game, I think. So we can cast Force of Negation and Drown in the Lock, so happy to play this Uro. Next turn I can bring Uro back to the battlefield, so should be already there. I could bring back Uro this turn and have only Drown in the Lock up, but that doesn't doesn't feel great. I think we're, we're happy to do this this way. You can also file, fire off Field of Ruin and also have Trophy plus Drown. So let's end of turn, field them off their one red source, get them further away from Bolt, Snap, Bolt. Bolt, Snap, Bolt, one of the things that could pull them back into this game. They went up to eight cards in hand, EOT. It's incredibly suspicious. Their, their deck plays like reasonable CMC spells, so I don't... I don't know what this is about. Discards mana link. Maybe they boarded into too many counters. I suppose that's possible. The question here is do I fire off Royal Scions? I think so. so. I can still play out most of my hand here. Play Trophy Drown the Lock and still have Force on their turn. Force it. Sure. You can go down two cards for that. I wonder if their entire hand is like reactive spells and they don't have the ability to uh, attack me. Is my chat messed up? No, it's not. Nobody's chatting, but we've got five people in here. So, uh, hey, welcome everybody. Hope you guys are having a good night. Trying to get some prep in for some of the tournaments coming this weekend. I think, I think I'm supposed to drown that. When they counter that, I can hard cast my force. Although, depending on how much mana it costs them to counter it, they're going to draw two. Yeah, they can they can go up to six cards here. That's fine by me. We still have force negation and assassin's trophy, so depending on what comes down here, we're going to be okay. Serum Visions is a great thing for us to see off the start. So Ren and Six really vaulted us into a uh, winning position here. Man, they are can tripping. Don't even trip, dog. I'm reading while listening. I'll watch streams tomorrow after a grocery shop in the morning. Thanks, dude. Oh, I just wasn't sure if my uh, like the the chat on my dashboard was broken because I didn't relic. Sure. Okay, that also exiles their graveyard. I know I lost an arrow there, but I think I'm okay with this. Doesn't seem like they have the thing in the ices in here now. If I trophy them off of their mountain, they don't have red mana. There's a pretty good chance they'll just draw it. All right, let's see what happens. Haven't been gone from the house for a week. Yo, you are not not the only one feeling that. That is that is the hashtag mood. Chase. Good pick up here. So if somehow they are able to survive this combat step, and by somehow I mean by casting a single piece of interaction. Okay. Uh, 
resolves. I will fire off my one black mana. One black. Get him. The second Snapcaster? Yeah, that's fine. The results. The results? I'm gonna play my Snapcaster. Two of two. Spell Snare. Force that. Still have the Assassin's Trophy. Got him. Pew, 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 pew. Kaminsky goes down in the second. Alright, so the fatal pushes. Fatal pushes. The fatal pushes ended up being alright there. Trophy might be better than I thought. Yeah. No, most of that deck, most of that game was uh, stack interaction. When they played the Ashiok, I had to trophy it, but I do have abrupt decays in my deck, so I think I'm happy with where I'm at. I'll just be back in two seconds, and uh, we will continue on into game the third. Alrighty, rocking into game of third. not have enough mana. Opponent keeps their seven. All right, let's let's mull this. I don't think it's worth risking this whole match on this hand. I think I'm supposed to, but only playing 23 lands in this list. Yeah, let's just mull again. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Bottom. I think I'm supposed to bottom something that isn't a Renin 6 here, but I'm going to bottom a Renin 6. The reason I'm bottoming Renin 6 is that between Drown and Lock and Force, we can pitch to counter their first big payoff, which might be what we need to do in order to get anywhere in this game. Send him a lay down, men search, short skirts, whoa, uh, oh. All right. For anyone who's curious, I am listening to Our Lady of Canada, the wonderful, tremendous Shania Twain. It's a national treasure, and I will fight you, Alex. Sometimes you just gotta feel like a woman. Man. Alright, so with the second... So they've got a fetch land here, which means my Drown and Lock can counter anything that they play. So I think I think we're firing off the second fetch land here, and then we're going to go blue-black if we need to. Definitely seeing the clunkier side of, of this deck's draws. Reading stuff from FOF in the States. What's FOF? Federal Oil Federation. Okay. Um, so 
So control matchups are traditionally about whoever blinks first. So I'm just going to play a land here and pass. No blinking for me. We do have double counter followed by red and six if and when they try to make a move. So ideally, I don't want to pitch for force negation, but I've got two lands in hand. So let's let's start grabbing some colors here. Let's grab black and blue, and this next one can grab me red. Ah, I meant for that to be blue, but it's okay. Okay, second ran six here means I'm gonna play Vista, play ran six with two mana open. We'll see what happens. Good chance my ran six is gonna eat it here. Yeah, mana leak's fine. Uh, we'll trade trade one for one on that. Opponent is head ahead on turns. They were they started this game off, um, and we took a mulligan, so we're even on cards. Okay. Uro is an okay pickup here. So let's get our blue. I just want to have the third mana available for Mana Leak again. We can drown here, but we cannot um, pitch for force because it's our turn. But hopefully this is a Cryptic Command. If it's a Cryptic Command, we're going to drown it. And then if they play Ral next turn, we get to force it and then slam a Jace. Deprive. So because I've got the Force of Negation, I think I'm going to try to fight this. So I don't think they play any four mana things that I'm overly concerned about. There's the mana link. All right. So no. OK. So definitely pitching Uro to force here if they play something big. They do not. Okay, with the decay and everything else in the hand, let's just fire off this Uro. Double green is not the worst thing in the world to have to fetch for. Trigger sick. My boy Udo made it. So now we have the potential to get double blue and double green, which is great. Archmages charm themselves. So I could fetch blue, blue here and force that. But I don't think that's worth it, unfortunately. Would be really good if we could make that play right now, but I don't think we're I don't think we're in a position where that's something we're we're gonna do. Okay. Sanctuary fire the Archmage's charm the deprive on top, okay. Relic. Oh that's yeah, okay. Maybe should have tried to force a negation that, because now we're about to be in a little bit of trouble. Exile my Wista. So we can get a second blue here, can attempt to get the second green here, they're likely to relic now. Yep. And they have the deprive in their hands, so there's no, no getting through their hand. We got force and multiple abrupt decays that are unfortunately very useless here, so. Hopefully they have something like an Ashiok. Because otherwise we are in trouble. Goodness gracious. That's a pain in the butt. That's also a pain in the butt. 
Yeah, this hand is not working out so well against them. Friends of friends, got you. Foffs. Jeez, don't want to listen to them foffs, eh? It's not really a good place to get in good information, you know? Alright. So we almost have enough mana for Jace plus Force, which is not even great here, but something. Maybe they'll eventually get bored and cycle their Relic. I would hope so. Well, that's something. That is a card that attempts to add pressure. So maybe, just maybe, we can start trying to do something here. So, can trophy their steam vents here, I guess? Trophy their sanctuary and let them deprive. Maybe I'm supposed to try to kill their relic. I think I'm going to go for this one of their steam vents. is still going to be a pain in the butt. Alright. Uh, Brendan six on nothing? Question mark. I have no graveyard. So... So this puts Deprive in their graveyard, the Sanctuary is in their hand, they can fetch their other Sanctuary and reset the Deprive. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to do anything here. Boy, this sucks. Oh, wait, no, I know what I can do here. Cool. So if and when they try to reset the Deprive, we blow up their Relic. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah, okay, cool. So let's kill a relic. Sure. Buy the prize. Cool. So we end up kind of up a little bit there. That works out all right. All right. What do you got? Bolt me. Sure. Because they were on eight cards in hand, so why not? Uh, and then they get to reset it. Well, all right. I'll take it. Are they through two relics now? They are. Sweet. I bring back the trophies? I didn't, so I'm, I'm down to one trophy remaining in my deck right now, which kind of sucks. I think, I know they have a bolt in their hand, so I think I just fire off snap here, and then we'll fire off force, and then we'll try to get a Jason here. Ooh, hello. They're not good at returning uh, Mystic Sanctuaries back to their hand, so. Uh, sorry, from their graveyard. If, they're, if their Sanctuaries die, they're, uh, they're stranded in the yard, so. It's weird to look at this game state and realize that we have the same number of basics in play. So do I want to 
target Mystic Sanctuary or Steam Vents. If they have a Cryptic, they have to Cryptic for this, so I, I definitely want to do this. We'll keep a uh, Force of Negation up and Black Green here. Sure. So we got one of their Mystic Sanctuaries down here. And we have multiple fields still left in our deck, so we're in a reasonable spot. They should still have a couple more basics. We do have enough here for Hello. I mean, that's not great, but it's all right. Uh, we do have enough blue here to play Jace and Force of Negation, so that might be reasonable. Perhaps. They're on eight cards in hand again. Bolt me. Sure. Every bolt they use on a not creature or planeswalker of mine is kind of a pretty pretty good gain. Ooh, yeah, okay, so we're definitely gonna fire this off. This should eat something from their hand. If it resolves, it's gonna be gross. Force of Negation Hardcast. So if I force back, I don't have the mana for Drown. How good is it to resolve this Ashiok? Is it like gross? It's not that good, right? No, it's fine. They are a fetch deck, and they are a deck that likes to use their graveyard, but I think I'll take it. They must have boarded out their thing in the ices against us, which kind of sucks. And not drawing any Ice Fang Quaddles is kind of unfortunate. Those would be really good in this matchup. Just to sort of get incidental value and then start cracking in. But hey. So they can grab a bolt here. But this is giving me a target for abrupt decay, so I'll, I'll take the bolt for having a decay target. I'll go to 10. They're not a particularly aggressive deck, so I think this is fine. We've got Drown Force Force here if we need it, so obviously we really don't want to do that, but... Okay, how many bolts are they through? One. Uh, not as many as I would have liked. Okay, Ran 6 is a must counter here again. Boy, that sucks. Oh, Spell Snare is so good against our deck. That's one of the... Uh, Really good medicals that uh, Jacob's playing in the list he's, he's running here. Really, really, really good against our deck. There's my friend. Little snack. <laughs> snack says... Uh, steam vents, sure. Okay, they're finally up on lands, but ah, we're doing okay actually. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they're up on one. Sick. Okay, this is this is our win condition, folks. This is, he's going the distance. He's going. He's going for speed. 13 turn clock, baby. All right, we're going to just be a little more quick with our decisions here because uh, I'm on five minutes on clock. Mm-hmm. 
to North Carolina. Stare at the road. Pray to God I see headlights. Alright, so we're going to try to hit this with a drown because I've got multiple counters in my hand. Big dog with flowers and I'm a hoping for Riley so I can see my baby tonight. Cryptic. I would like that gone forever. So we still have another drown and another force on their turn. So if they have another cryptic here, I'm going to have to drown it. Force drown that. Well, we need a screenshot. Got him. I think we got him. Pick a banjo now. Oh, my country, when it's keep a coming down. Lost my money playing poker, so I had to leave town. But ain't turning back, living that old life no more. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Hey, mama, rock me. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Alright, um... I'm gonna brainstorm? Did Fate Seal? Did, let's Fate Seal. Protects him from Bolt. Doesn't protect him from Snap Bolt, but hey. Uh, put it on the bottom. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have attacked with the Ice Fang there. That was definitely a misplay, yeah. Crap. Am I getting snapped? Sinkhole. Alright, well, Burrow might be able to pull us through this. Oh, no, truck out of Philly had a nice long trip, but he's headed west for the Cumberland Gap. Yeah. I think there's one more forest in this deck, so let's see if I can get it, because I will need it this turn. You become a man, I know that she's the only one, and if I die in Riley, at least I will die free. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Man, I got the good tunes on tonight. That's what happens when you put on your country playlist. Uro, Python of Nature's Wrath. Wow, I love having priority. Oh, wow. And another big, big threat. All right, let's see if they got the sick counter here. Uh, fields, Jace, wait, not fields, uh, one of the forces, sure, Ren six, yes, uh, abrupt decay, fable passage, let's go, let's go, get in there, baby, hell yeah, can't even, can't even believe that this sh is resolving, no, I would not like to put a land card into play, I mean, I would like to, thanks for asking, Moto, but I don't have one, and then Arkham's Est Orlebium, uh, spell pierce, sure. Ooh. Opt. Sure. They're down to 20 cards in library. I'm down to also 20. Ral. Crap. Are they going to minus it to blow up my Uro? Yes, they are. Good call. Okay, do I get to play Uro and Tree Folk here? I do. Okay, so let's play Uro first. Blue, or green, green, blue, blue. One, two, three. No, need that. Four. One more. Crap, 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 crap. Crap. Okay, let's try those. All right, these things. Do that. Draw a card. Get them. No, can't play that. Okay. Fire off the astrolabe. Draw a card. Okay. Infinite Fatal Pushes. Got it. Uh, so one... Ah, it's okay. We have two lethal threats next turn. They have to draw a way to deal with, with both. Uh, we'll leave up black mana. I don't need it, but maybe they somehow kill my Astrolabe, so... 
I've got a 13 13 tree folk. We've taken down both their Mystic Sanctuaries too. Thank you, Field of Ruins. So hopefully we just win here. Well, that was a very promising start. We had to not draw three whole cards. Listen, friend, we did draw three whole cards, and we just beat Jacob the Pen Sword Kaminsky. If he does pop in here, which I hope he will, um, I got to tell him what a terrible Blue Moon player I am, and uh, let him know that the uh, Faithless Brewing Cup podcast would like to know if he is the Pen Sword or the Pen's Word. Smasher eleven two ninety one. All right, so this hand is unkeepable. If we had a single blue source, we'd be okay, but we're going to ship that. Okay, this is a lot better. Uh, it's going to be a little slow, but I'm okay to keep this. I think we're bottoming a force negation because this, this has the colors we need. You're only a terrible Blue Moon player. No, no, I'm just especially a terrible Blue Moon player. You're going to play Prismatic Vista first if we draw another... Multicolor land. I gotta try out Tree Folk. There is a one of in this deck, and it has been very impressive the two or three times I've cast it. Every time I've cast it, it's been quite excellent. Is this Thoughtseize? Inquisition. Yeah, we're getting Inquisitioned. They gotta sort out what I'm doing with these these cards and these colors in my hand. All right, that's like best possible draw-ish. So so we can have uh, all of our colors here. We probably need double blue at some point. Let's find out if we need it now. It's probably taking snap. Yeah, cool. Do they have a land drop? They must. Could be Death Shadow if they're playing Death Shadow. Maybe they don't have the land drop here. I think I probably got a follower here somewhere, but I can't see my notifications. Traverse the Ulvenwald for a land? Sure. Good luck. You go get him, friend. Would you like everyone to know that my deck is perfect? It's a perfect circle. So the question here is, do I fire off Colgan's command as a two for one here? I think I'm supposed to. Yeah, I think so. Because then it makes it... Potentially, we're just going to go up a card here, so that, that could be a really big deal. They could have a Stubborn Denial here if I'm correctly assessing that they're playing um, Salt Eye Shadow or something like that. But Alright, we're rocking into... Rocking into this turn number four with no frickin' plan. But I'm here for the party, man. Oh, we got it! We got the play. Nice. We took down their Fatal Push. I guess that's not great, but I will take it. Anyone who's um, hitting that sub button and I am missing... Not the sub button, the follow button, and I'm missing the notifications... It is because my uh, dashboard over here is super messed up. It's not uh, not displaying things correctly, but hopefully we'll be able to, to get that sorted out. So I can't play this Force of Negation, so I can't deal with this Death Shadow. It is 1-1, one, one, though, so maybe we'll be all right here. Uh, let's fire off this on one of their blue sources for sure. We're going to get a blue and probably another blue. Yeah, definitely another blue. So 
Surprise Snake is excellent against Death Shadow. Let's see what they're up to. Get in here, baby. Get in here, baby. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Ah, oh, they had the push. That's okay. We're going to take one damage, maybe three if they have a Street Wraith. Holy crap. I mean, that's a really good draw. Oh, wow. They hit me for one. Wow, that's unfortunate on their side. Uh, this is a great pickup. Fire off Astrolabe, try to draw a card here so I can play Snack and Force. I mean... Yeah. So that's... Huh. Alright, so we're going to try to snake them on their turn and then... Uh, Cycle Street Wraith, sure. We should get to go up a card here at minimum. Which helps clear the way for Hase. El Sculptor. Oh, please tell me we get to block here. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, it feels so good. Oh my god. Traverse, sure. I guess I could have forced that, but... Goyf, sure. Okay, so they do have blue open. They can have Stub here as one of their last two cards. Another Ice Fang's excellent, though. So let's, let's just pass the turn here. We're going to keep sort of sandbagging this Jace, and then... Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to uh, to get them. Triple triple ice fang draw was just just fire, just the hottest heat. Trigger, got him. Cool. What? What's happening? Okay, cool. Opponent might be visiting Tilt City over there. Please traverse again. Do it, and then have traverse stub. Those would be the last two cards that I want you to have. Traverse and Stub. Death Shadow. I cannot count on that. Okay. I do, however, have the mana to play Jace Force, or I can just Tree Folk this, and my Tree Folk is bigger. Let's just Tree Folk that, and my Tree Folk be, be bigger. Here's my Thabin Thabin. Death Metal Tree Folk go. Sack Peatland. Yep. Seems reasonable. Tilting that other frame here, sorry. No play. Got it. Cool. Uh, I'm okay with drawing a land because a land of any kind is lethal here. Trophy is not. Give me one second. Okay, cool. So, I don't want to put them to one unless I have to. Okay, let's fetch first. Get another forest just in case. Let's fire off Jace. And we can force or trophy here. Cool. Bounce the Death Shadow. Alright, now we can crack him down to one. Kill spells that cantrip are my favorite kind. Hard agree with you. Have you ever played the card Zap? It's phenomenal. Traverse. Do I let that resolve? I'm pretty sure I don't. I got a lot of backup plans here, so... They could stub me and I'll still be fine. They stub me and then they could cast a Goy for a Shadow, then I bounce one trophy the other, so we're good. And they didn't even make me show them. Okay, so Decays seem A++. Fatal Push also very good. 
Force of Negation seems bad here, even though it's pretty okay in that game, and then Dead of Winter is probably not good enough, so I bet, uh, let's see, Maelstrom Pulse. Do I want any number of Leyline? No, but Ashiok's really good. And then we'll cut one. Ran and Sex. I miss Mangucci being able to play that card. Kill spells that can trip. I do, dude. This is the best kill spell I've ever played in any game of Magic. This thing is disgusting. Ran and Six is just, just gross. All right, I think this is fine. I don't think this is a leyline matchup. It doesn't do that much, but Ashiok certainly does. Face Fatal Push, Abrupt Decay, and Maelstrom Pulse are also good. Pulse is like the weakest one. But I think it's still good. I don't think Force is all that good. Going down on cards when they're going to be thought seizing as a bunch is not super good. All right, I think we're good here. Uh, we're going to keep this one. They can attempt to thought seize me into oblivion. Worth mentioning how lucky we got on that uh, game. Because they had a bunch of thought seize effects and we just drew the Ice Fang Quattles when we needed them. So Okay, that was a little actually that was that was a little sloppy. So I should have played the island first because if they stub my Arkham's Astrolabe, which is a one for one trade for them, then they could have cut me off of the Ice Fang. Uh, at least the turn two Ice Fang. Although I guess turn two Ice Fang is not really all that impressive. So, okay, we are flooded to all heck here. So I'm going to start firing off these fetch lands ASAP to try to mitigate it. I know the percentages are grotesquely low, but there's not a lot of extra value in this deck to firing off your fetch lands um, on any particular turn. We don't have Dryads, we don't have Mayhem Devils. So we're just going to be okay here. They're going to 14. If they have any kind of Thoughtseize or such, we're going to get to fire off our Ice Fang underneath that. Definitely want to fetch green here. And then we get to go Ashiok, Jace, so. Ashiok doesn't affect the board, but hopefully this Ice Fang gets us there. And we haven't drawn any of our removal, so our deck has like something gross like 12 removal spells in it right now which is nuts snick i think the world needs to know about the card zap by the way definitely 100 percent gonna improve people's lives to know about it Stub me, baby! Oh, you can't stub me. Sick. Are you just messed up here? You should be just messed up here. I'm gonna mill them. Snake has Death Touch, still a 1 2. Uh, the, the Goyf is still a 1 2, so even if they remove my snake, it becomes a 2 3. Yeah, so they've got a. Oh, sorry, 3 4. Oh, very nice. Okay. Still not big enough to kill my Ashiok. Hmm. Uh, interesting to note, maybe, that uh, if I Ashiok mill myself there just to exile their graveyard, there's a good chance the Goyf would have been bigger. Okay, and cool. Ashiok survives at one. Not bad. Dot JPG. Death Shadow, sure. Okay, so this could get bad quickly. So. Fable Passage is no no life loss fetch, so I'm happy to do that. Uh, let's get more islands since we do have a copy of Cryptic in our deck. I'm just going to try to draw more removal here. I'm definitely firing off Trophy on their turn. Okay. Fire off Astrolabe here, try to grab uh, more removal because I'm definitely firing off Trophy on their turn. This deck wanted to make me repeat myself. Um... I'm not going to use the last counter on Ashiok because it could mess with them pre-combat, but more importantly, if they split their attack here, 
then uh, we get to kind of blow them out and keep our Ashiok for a turn, like that. There's a good chance they have Stub here, but this makes them use it if they want my Ashiok dead. Veil. Uh, yeah. Forgot about Veil. So they get to two for one me there, which is pretty great. So maybe it would be worth having Dead of Winter here post board. Their creatures aren't always super gigantic. Thoughtsies. Crap! I have exactly one spell in my hand. Alright, maybe we want the Dead of Winters in post post board. I thought this was really good. Jeez. My deck full of fatal pushes and uncounterable uh, abrupt decays is really letting me down here, huh? So we've got 12. We're at 16. I mean, that's a good draw, but that's only if we get to cast it. So we needed to draw a fatal push there, which we did not. So there's a reasonable chance we die. We're taking at least uh, 12, 13. It's going to go to 3 here. So if they have a fetch land, we just die. We've got two draws next turn to try to find a removal spell. Are they going to kill my Scions? No, they're just cracking me for probably 13. No, just the 12. Okay. So... Sure. I mean, that's good. It definitely cuts me down a draw, so let's see if... Snake is real good. Snake could draw me another sorcery speed thing to do, so I think I'm playing field. Sorcery speed snake. Let's see if we can draw... Another sorcery speed thing. I'm getting light on mana. Okay, that is sick. Cool. So they have to have a pretty good hand. So we're going to go upkeep. Push your death shadow. Right. Shoot. So we did let them get an extra card there by letting them untap the Nurturing Peatland. Whoops. Well, that's not particularly good, huh? Um, yeah, let's just kill... Oops. Kill the Tarmogoyf in response. And then we'll see what the last card in their hand is. So... Take the wheel, Jesus. Alright. We got him? Got him. Sick. Okay, so we're still alive. Got a lot of gas in our deck, and they did not draw a threat. Sweet. We did lose our Jace. That is an excellent pickup. Cool. So, uh, let's crack down their blue sources here, I guess. I know they do have basics right now, but I still do too, so I'm okay with uh, thinning my deck a little bit. Just a little bit. They're gonna get a swamp, most likely. Cool. And then I don't, I don't know that I saw an island in their deck last turn, but uh, I don't think I'm willing to blow my last piece of removal on their watery grave here. I do not need that upkeep stop anymore. All right, let's draw a threat. Come on, come on now. That's not a threat, but it does get some of the few lands left in my deck out. We're going to have 33 cards in our deck, so we've done a good job slaying through this thing. This is one of those matchups where I already feel like I want more Uro. Sure. That's very lethal, huh? Well, let's draw a Counterspell. The forest is slightly better here. Or an Uro. Uro would be pretty good. Okay. So, please resolve. Yeah, cool. So 
Oh. Oh. Oh, that's tough. Okay, maybe two Dead of Winter will be okay. Let's take out one Jace. I guess Jace got discarded, otherwise he would have been pretty good, but... Oh, maybe Maelstrom Pulse? Yeah, Dead of Winter's probably better than Pulse in most situations. I'm going to go down to one Ashiok. The Ashiok was okay there, but it just died. didn't really add much to my game plan. But I think one is okay in the 60 as we go into game of the third here against a Sultai Shadow deck. Let's grab my notes. against the Thoughtseize deck. We can play Dead of Winter in theory. We've got a lot of draws that get us to a good place here. Let's just be lucky. Don't be unlucky. Okay, so we want to draw a fetch land. It's got to be Vista. Well, that's a spell we can play. Definitely really risky keep here, but this is a very, I don't know, I want to say high variance matchup, so I think our opponent definitely knows what they're doing, though. Um, they are not aggressively fetching or, or shocking or anything like that. They're just kind of letting, letting the early game develop slowly. They understand that they're playing a very protect-the-queen strategy here, and um, any... Any removal spell that I fire off really messes them up. That's super unfortunate. Okay. Almost any land in our deck gets us into a pretty good spot here, but it hurts when the Death Shadow deck didn't do any... <sighs> didn't do anything and just draw drew more lands than we did. They're probably playing 19 or 20 lands. We're playing 23 and we drew two extra cards. <sighs> okay. I think we're supposed to be favored in this matchup. One of the things that makes me think that is the fact that there's no Veil of Summer in the sideboard of this deck. If they're able to fire off a Shadow here, they should. I would think that they will. Yeah, so we need to draw an answer to this ASAP, or land. We drew the or land, so they can stub me here. Um, Renin 6 doesn't pick up a land, so my hand is garbage in this situation. If they don't have exactly stub, I can Dead of Winter to kill their Death Shadow, unless they have Street Wraith or... Yeah, there's a few things that get them out of this. I think I'm just firing off Dead of Winter here and hoping that they, they don't have stub or a way to lose life. A lot of stuff beats us here, but... Or beats this play. We're not necessarily dead yet or anything, but... Uh, stub. Yep. Okay, they're down to three cards. Plenty of ways for us to draw out of this, so let's just do it. We're only taking three here, that's fantastic. Less good considering we boarded out the good, golly. Uh, okay. Let's draw to our other Dead of Winter. Oh, don't have another stub. Okay, good. It's going to absorb some damage for us. Jeez, oh man. God, that is so freaking brutal. Oh, so 18, so we're just dead. Is that just dead? Yeah, it's just dead. Alright. 
Very, very close one. I guess I should have mulliganed this hand, but I I don't know. It was a pretty amazing streak of bad luck that got us got there, so. Boarding out the Maelstrom Pulse worked out, quote-unquote, badly. I mean, there's no way to know if we would have had it there, but definitely would have been sick on that board. So no trophy for tonight. So one bad mulligan. Bad-ish failure to mulligan. Okay, pretty ideal opening here. Keep this one. If we draw another untapped land, we can de well, we can start on Astrolabe on this one. Yeah, yeah, we can start on Astrolabe. I was thinking we need to start on Fabled Passage, but I think we can start on Astrolabe here. Also, Magic Online's making me jelly, so got to shuffle. Opponent Mulligan's to five, so we're against Dredge, you say. Maybe Titan. Titan should be a very good matchup for this deck. For anyone wandering in here, we are looking to test decks right now for the upcoming weekend of big old competitive tournaments. And uh, this is one of the ones I'm considering, but band control is definitely tested and true more so. This is also one of the deck types of decks that I love playing, and when you're going to play like a, an eight-round tournament, I think you definitely want to play something you like. Got to play Magic to uh, have fun, that's for damn sure. Berkovitz, with double wooded foothills to start. I have no idea what's going on there, but this is a good pickup no matter what it is. Love drowning the loch. Just lock it up. Lock them down. Opponent has no fear against our Demir Arkham's Astrolabe start. Probably think we're on something like Urza. If I had to guess. The more controlling blue-black Urza decks of late would potentially start a game like this. This is a really bad draw of Thick Grull. Could be. The Chonk. Oh, please let this be a Nihiland. Please let this be the last color. Nope. Magus. So I can counter it or kill it. Or just not care, because all of my things are mostly basic. I just let this resolve, right? Because like I can always like Dead of Winter in a bit for all my snowlands. I guess Fabled Passage won't be able to be... Yeah, this doesn't matter at all right now. Okay. I mean, when I say it all, like obviously I won't be able to fable, uh, I won't be able to fail passage or field rune here. So like that's the immediate punish, I guess, for letting it resolve. But I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I think we're firing off Uro here. I don't think we can get eaten by much of what they can play, and the chance to go up on lands and tempo here is is pretty good against their stumbly start. Here's my mountain. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Uh, 
they fire off something like Bloodbraid here, we get to uh, Dead of Winter the next turn. So even Glory Banger, which they can't afford right now. I think the best thing for them to hit here is Chandra if they have the fourth land. Yep. We got trophy for that though, so should be okay. Pillage. On my Astrolabe. Oh, gross. Oh, and then we lost the We lost the Death Touch Snack. So if I drown right now. I can fetch, but I can't run in six yet, so. Pillage is pretty good there, huh? Alright. Uh, then we're just gonna pass the turn here. Have trophy drown up. If they goof the way they play this turn, we might be able to get to really blow them out. See what happens. Stamp. Yeah, stamp's okay. Because we're going to kill this maze anyway. I think I'm going to take the two here because they might have land Bone Crusher. And then we get to drown that and then... Um, drown that and then uh, Dead of Winter them. Obviously that's not how that worked out, but... Okay, so we definitely want green or red here. I think I want green. And then on my turn, I get to field them, get the red, and play red and six, pick up a land. I mean, I could just draw a land, sure, but I like my line better. So field, untapped land, get the red. Okay, they let it resolve. Sick. Means I don't have to worry as much about anything else. And let's get Fail Passage because it deals no damage to me against the red deck. They're not a particularly aggressive red deck, but they're still a red deck, so let's give them that red deck respect. Alrighty. You ready? Bone Crusher is ready. There he is. Man, he's so ready. I'm gonna give it to my opponent. They're sticking in here. Like, I'm about to escape an Uro on them, but I, I, they're sticking it in here. I think, think they might concede at that point, but... Okay, so let's pick up the passage. Play it. Get my other green. I mean, I think it's it's safer for me to just like dead of winter here. I won't have trophy up, so I guess. Oop. I guess it doesn't matter what I do here. Uro gives me a shot at picking up a land. No, I already have lands. All right, let's just fire off Uro here. Oh, Uro lets me play a land out of my hand, so I'll have trophy or 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 uh, call against command up. So feels bad to exile some of the spells from my snappy boy, but uh, while he is a snappy dresser, Tiago Chan, um, I think. I think we'll manage. Fable Passage. Shashank. Okay, and then pass the turn. Here's my Uro. He's the sassy boy. This deck does play a third snow covered forest because when you have all of your basics out, you do want to be able to both play and escape Uro. So we've got four islands, three forests, two swamps, and a mountain. Bloodbraid Elf. Sure. You can walk into my into my dead of winter all you like. That's completely acceptable as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's get another black in case we need it. 
All right, opponent, would you like to attack? Survey says the answer is no. Cool. Uh, I have seven. Seven snow permanents, a dead of winter is going to kill my arrows, so I can just attack them next turn and then wipe them. So let's do that. So. Wista. We are go for a tech. Draw, put in this. Field. Field will fuel my next arrow. No block, huh? You are going to regret that, friend. Uh, I can replay the Uro this turn after the Dead of Winter, so... But I uh, I don't have the food. Uro's, Uro's a hungry lad. So i got seven cards in hand here, and we're up a million lands, so... Obviously, opponent on the mole to five doesn't really... Uh, not really indicative of what their deck's meant to be doing here, but I think we definitely have this one locked up. But very easy to lose this matchup in the next two games, so. Okay, they got five lands. Glory Banger. He bangs, he bangs. Attack my Ran and Six. Get out of here, nerd. Skadoosh. No basics left in my deck. Good to know. Luckily, my Renin 6 is going to ultimate before I need them, so... So if I fire off a main phase something, I can escape my Uro this turn, but I don't think I'm interested in that. I have... All right. Let's pick up land, and then next turn we get to play... Like, hopefully we get to Emblem Red and Six here. And then uh, play the next one, and then that should be the game locked up. And like even if we don't, we're 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 good here. We've got snap looping. This deck does have a hint of the Grixis control in here with uh, Snapcaster Colgan's command and Cryptic. I feel like we should go down to one of all of them just to make it like actually Megas. Sure. Sick card, bro. Bro set or bro they or bro bot. Cool. So, win? So the, the question is, in which way do I want to win? I'm pretty sure I want to Assassin's Trophy every card off the battlefield and, and watch the light die from their eyes. So that's what we're going to start doing here. Let's take out the minions first. Uh, discard Fable Passage, because that doesn't fetch anything. Please go get a land. Downside of this hand is that we don't have any astrolabes, so we can only trophy twice per turn. So we need another black mana of some form or function. Glory banger. Resolves? Enjoy your basic land. Okay. Opponent's sticking it out. We drew Cryptic Command. Sick. So let's play the field, snipe their stomping ground, see if they're down to no basics. That did take me off of Cryptic, but I've still got Drown Lock here, so I think we're okay. It's going to be ever so slightly conservative with our plays for the next turn. They have, a, they have a basic forest. Interesting. I wonder if they have that so that when they run out of snow covered, they know. Sprawl. Sure. Against my non-stop Assassin's Trophy, you're going to play your Utopia Sprawl. Cool. 
His opponent is really sticking it out. Good for them. Right on, man. Right on. Man, woman, robot, robot. Cool. Uh, do I want to do it again? Nah, I'll just hold the hold the lane for next turn. Oh, I drew an extra trophy. Well, never mind then. I think they scooped. They did not. Wow. I mean, good luck, Godspeed, opponent. So let's take them off red if we can. Right now? Yeah, let's just take them off red now. Do I need... I don't, I don't know. I've got a... I've got a cryptic command. Okay, so they're off red. Sure. Nice Ponza deck. Nice Blood Moons. Just here, break in spirits. This is not the way I would play in a competitive tournament I'd be playing this week, but this is just funsies. Right here. Hex Drinker. Sure. Good luck. Yep. It needs to be level 3. So it's currently level 1, level 2. Okay, and now Cryptic Bounce and Draw? Yeah, I think so. Boing! Cool. Oh my god, we drew Dead of Winter, so even if they did resolve it, it wasn't going to get there. Return of land. Alright. Uh, trophy one of their basics. Just don't want to have too many cards in my hand, you know? It's a travesty. It's a travesty of a magic game is what I'm playing here, but I'm having a blast. There's no no need to put my opponent out of their misery. Sure. Sure. I hope you're aware that I can... Okay, turn play this card's card deal too. I don't know if they're aware that I could just play the Cryptic out of my graveyard here, but like... My opponent's got that never say die attitude, and at this point I just want to see how far they're willing to go with it. All right, level up trigger resolves. Sorry, activation. Armor Elf, you got it. All right, end of turn, Ice Fan Quaddle. Okay, this is this is my clock. I suppose they're just fishing for information at this point. Could get a second Ren and Six Emblem here, I suppose. I don't need to play any cards out of my graveyard this turn, so let's just trophy them off of one of their lands. I've got more than enough stuff in hand to uh, just get them get them dead with this. Get them out of this game. No play. Cool. Snake number two. Cool. So now we finally have more black mana. Trophy, discard the passage, down to three, in the turn, cool. We go snap trophy here, because I've got two. My deck plays four main, so seems like an okay thing to do. See if I can... See if I can get them on zero lands before I kill them. Uh, that snap means yes, I think. Pick up a land, trophy a land. Wastelanding poor LP out of this game. I I I wouldn't say I've been wastelanding them. I would say I've been strip mining them. So that doesn't get anything, so that's great. 
So we're going to put them on zero mana producing lands uh, as we, like literally the turn that we kill them. And I'm barely down on clock compared to some of the pre previous games I've played, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live with this. I think it was worth doing for the YouTube video. Berg land destruction. Nice, nice blood moons. Nice Ponza deck. Alright, so Brook Decay probably good. Good-ish. I mean they've got Glorybringers. Fatal Push also good-ish. Um, our main deck configuration is actually very good here. I think I think I want to force a negation. So Stream keeps buffering for you. Huh. Mine's been messed up on my end. Maybe Twitch has a lot more traffic than usual. I, I, I have noticed a lot of streamers who usually stream more sparingly are, like, on every single night. So, might be on Twitch's end. They might be uh, experiencing some heavy traffic. Okay, so, Drown was good. That was good. Burrow's good. Culligan's Command is probably an okay cut. Tree Folk is probably an okay cut. One Jace can go down here. Scions can probably go out here. Eh, yeah, Scions are really good. I don't think I'm supposed to change my deck by that much. I think I'm just bringing in pushes. Then we just gotta mull pretty aggressively to our colors. Maybe force mitigation is worth it here. Because getting pillaged out of this game is really bad. It's definitely warm as heck in the uh, condo tonight. I'm not sure why it's so toasty. Might just be me, but I don't know. I think I'm pretty good with this setup. Yeah, let's riggedy roll. Alright. Uh, is this good enough against that deck? Yes. So these forces are fated to exile each other. And this is going to fetch black, but it doesn't have to right away. Yeah, so if they have a turn to Blood Moon, we fetch in response to it. And if they have turn to Pillage, we get to play around that. What up, Alex? You missed the game where we just took our Ponza player off of literally every mana producing land in their deck uh, before we killed them. Which is pretty great. Pretty great. And that's a great pickup. So now we have four lands, so the Fable Passage will put its land into play untapped. Field of Ruin gets us to what we need there. Second Arbor Elf. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> I can't wait to have a little snack here. Okay. I don't think I need to play a trophy on two here. So I'm pretty sure I'm just firing this passage in. And then end of turn we'll go sack for uh, blue black. And I've got the green in my hand, so the only color we're missing is red, which I don't need right now. If there is a glory banger in my future, it's gonna kind of mess me up, but we should be able to kind of bounce back against it. They fetch no green mana, so they must have a forest in their hand, or they're not they're not having any blood moon effects right now. It's a Mount Anne. Clothis. Yeah, that's a card. Okay. So 
So, do I even fire off my Dead of Winter here? I don't, right? Like... I guess letting them have six mana is probably a bad idea. If I fire off Dead of Winter, Clothis gets to ding me for two. The only way I have to beat the Clothis is Cryptic Command. I think I'm supposed to let them play into my Dead of Winter more here. See if we can get them to overextend a little bit more. Because it's going to be for four next turn. This does get the mana. But then. So they need Bloodbraid Elf into a card if if they want to have the um, devotion for Clothis here. And then we'd take seven, eight, nine. Which is certainly not lethal. And then we won't be able to Dead of Winter and kill the Clothis unless I draw an Astrolabe, but... Pillage. I think I have to fire off Force on... No, I can No, I can't drown that. Oh, I can kill an Elf and drown it? No, I can't. I don't have the colors. I think I just fire off force here. Exiling force. Seems okay. Yeah. Alright. Get out of here. I'm going to take two, and then another two on my turn. All right. Should get me red, but might get myself another black. I think I'm getting myself another black. So I don't have my one red card in hand yet. Does put me off of casting a Jace if I hit it, but I think we'll be okay. Did I take out a Jace? I did. Okay. Get out of here, nerds. Okay. So Clothis is going to beat us up a little bit. Clothis is great. Hopefully we can draw an island or... A land that gets me blue. Astrolabe. Astrolabe into land would be really good. They're taking my Fabled Passage. That does not bode well for me. That sounds like a Blood Braid Elf. Sprawl, sure. Still got the four. Can trophy that though. Blood braid. Questing beast. Yep. Good play. So if we draw a fetch land, we get to be in tremendously good shape here. No. I can trophy that and drown.
I think we pass and see what they do pre-combat on this next turn. Right, they can put us to 9 here. Or they can get mana. Yeah, they're putting us to 9, fair enough. Pretty sure we're going to trophy this. So then I've got Drown Lock back up. Yeah, because I couldn't drown in a lock into the Ice Fang. Definitely drowning that on the stack. Get out of here, nerd. No card draw for you. I haven't seen a Veil of Summer out of them yet, which seems suspicious, Aloysius. Please draw me a blue source. Not a red and six. Not that either. This this is not what I wanted to draw here. So Clothis gets to do whatever they want. Clothis do how Clothis do, let me tell you. Clothis is great. She got them thick thighs. Look at that. Beefcake. No glory banger, please. That's a really good draw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Whew. Land? I mean, sure. I think I'm just holding on to that. Man, this Clothis is just messing us up this game, though. It's, like, impossible for me to deal with. Stupid indestructibility. I did, did draw the Cryptic Command, but I have nowhere near enough mana to do it. It's just constantly taking the cards out of my graveyard that I want. Okay, we're definitely blocking here because the cloth is has us on a reasonably quick clock. If I could find an row, that would be great. God, that's so gross. Because I don't, I don't have any way to stop this. I'm supposed to, but I, but I don't. Okay. All right. So Clothis is going to end us here. So next game, got to see if I have an out for that that I can bring in. I don't think that I do. Arkham's Astrolabe just in time. More color sources just in time. So we're basically dead. We're going down to lightning bolt range now. It's tree folk to kill them faster probably next game. Because one of the things that's beating us up here is the fact that we just have no no way to end this game. Yeah, and that's it. Clothis is just gonna put us to one and then we're we're done for. I'm gonna try to draw to an Uro. And Cryptic is probably bad here. Tree Folk is better. At least one Dead of Winter can go out. Maelstrom Pulse. I want this Jace back. And then... Fatal Push is, like, good against their Accelerants, but it's not good against any of their payoffs. It kills Tracker. We're going to go down on Fatal Pushes, and then we're going to lose to Arbor Elf. I think that's the plan. Hopefully you could draw Red in 6 nice and early and have less cruddy mana. I think I want to force on the play. It doesn't deal with Clothis, but deals with their pillages and such. I 
I think something like this is okay. Let's try it like this. Let's try it like this. I think I'm supposed to know what I want here, but oof. Been some long days. All right, let's do it up. That is a tremendous draw. We have pushed to defuse their early game into a row, plus we've got Astrolabe to fix our mana. So only way this could get better is if we pick up a uh, Ran 6. Swamp is a fine first play here because we could play Mountain or Vista into Ran 6 right now. All right, let's see. Mana Dork, not Utopia Sprawl, please. Please? Crap. All right. That was one of the bad things that could happen there. Suppose I play Vista here because it limits their options on which land they want to hit. They have turned two Clothis here. I'm going to be also kind of kind of beat up. We do have a reasonable game plan this time, at least. This is Pillage. This is going to suck. Blood Moon is totally fine or Magus, but... Relic with two mana floating. Okay. Cinder Vines. Okay. So it's the all hate piece hand. Got it. So I'm green with this. So it doesn't really matter how I do this. Pretty good pickup. We got push ready to go. I think earlier if I could hold on to my Vista, I should have done so. Okay, so they're gonna get my Uro here without even cracking their relic, but Cest La Vie. It's possible Abominable Tree Folk really messes them up this game though. Should be able to. It's gonna be like a 6-6 six -six when it comes down. Is this tracker crap. I don't have, yeah, instant speed interaction for this, so they get at least one clue. Yeah. I can go field push next turn. Probably worth doing against them. another blue I don't have the cryptic in my deck right now but crap should have held priority and killed the tracker yep all right I wish Roy was here to tell me that I was bad oh boy all right so we put them up a card but we'll be okay I hope. Because I don't have a drown lock or anything right now. Well, shoot. Yep. Oh, and I should have, yeah, I should have changed phases there. They still would have cracked the clue, but. Man, Tracker's so good. Oof. 
Actually, that, that puts a wide board together, but that's not actually good against the tree folk, so let's see what they get here. Discard two lands. Okay, so all gas. Got it. Got it. <laughs> not the best feeling from my side of the table, but... Hopefully my four mana seven seven is 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 dece here. Let's see. Sprawl, sure. Uh, it's just clue cracking mana, probably. Hopefully. I mean, that's an okay pickup. So I could field into Tree Folk here, but I think having the push up is reasonably important. Leave up blue black because it looks sassy. Here's my 8-8. Eight eight. It's going to kill you real quick, bud. Oh, they can shrink it. I wonder if they'll see it. I've got an 8-8. Eight eight. I wonder if they're able to cinder vines my astrolabe, then glory banger bolt. That would be... That'd be bad. I have intoned its name, so it is guaranteed to happen now. Hopefully what they do is they assemble a bit of a board, and then we get to uh, rip a Dead of Winter and just wreck them. I'm going to watch you make me fall in love. All right. Come on now. Let's see what you got going on. We lost one one Udo too already. Is this relic or is this cinder vines? Relic, sure. Well, desperation relic crack, that feels good. They're down to five mana for this turn, probably six. They have a land in hand, I would assume. What do they got? Pyromancer number two, sure. Could be a wide board. But it's not. I wonder what they're digging for. They ditched two lands there, so there's a lower chance they have lands in hand, which is terrifying because they could have nothing but gas. We're going to need a board wipe quick, I would guess. We're going to play four mana Brainstorm on my turn. That kind of sucks. Ooh, okay. Another relic. Well, beggar not chooser over here. Okay, so we're looking for the Dead of Winter. So we're going to fire off this Jace. Take one for it, sure. Here comes my 4 mana Sorcery Speed Brainstorm. Assuming he's going to eat a Bolt here. He did not. I have Surprise. So I can field and push and crack in for eight. Then they have tokens next turn, but Jace... Okay, this deals damage to me. So if I kill a Pyromancer... Okay, I'm just putting both lands on top here. Because Ren and Six can kill tokens. So let's kill a land. Get, fetch the swamp. Go to combat. Kill the Pyromancer. Crack them for... It's going to be nine. So...
They added a green mana, which is suspicious, because we haven't seen a Veil of Summer from them yet. So, probably going to get Veiled here, but... Oh, shoot, shoot. Stop on my turn. They want to draw another card. Okay. Oh, I should have responded to that by killing the Pyromancer. Shoot. Well, if my push doesn't kill this Pyromancer, yeah, so I goofed here, but if my push doesn't kill this Pyromancer, then we're not going to attack, because then we can keep our Jace alive. We got it, so I'm going to crack in for nine, put him in three here. Oh, how's it going there, Roy? You've, uh... Missed some exciting magic gathering. In game one of this match, we took my opponent down to zero mana producing lands before we killed them. It was great. Yep. I was expecting that earlier. They should have done that before I hit them, right? I don't know why they did it right there. Unless they think they can do 17 damage in red-green with this board state. We have played every single game of Magic that we registered for so far, though. We've, uh, we're, uh, three and three in the first, what the, they, what, I don't, uh, okay. Okay, so they still have enough to Pyromancer here. They can put my Jace to one if they want to, they pass the turn. Well, that's just phenomenal. So the other card on top of my deck right now is unknown because we uh, put Field Passage on top just now. So we're looking for Dead of Winter here for the win. So I think I Fabled Passage, Crack it to Thin. Piles of Removal, that's what I'm looking for. Which my deck does have. I mean, that's pretty good. Guess I could start Renin Sixing their face. Takes pressure off my Hase. Because if I attack with Tree Folk, they just make two tokens. So this makes it really awkward for them, and they don't know. There is another Ren and Six on top. Man, I wish I had that Coligan's command now, huh? That one, my one burn spell. So we fetched this turn. So if they crack their wooded foothills, we're gonna snap in response and push the tracker. Make sure I was reading that text correctly. Yeah, okay, cool. Trophy, yeah, trophy was how we uh, how we did that in the first first game of this match. Yeah, so here comes the Pyromancer activation. So they do have plenty of good draws here, but not much that gets them into a, into a particularly fav favorable position. Glory Banger would be excellent. Well, that was pretty great. See ya! Skadoosh. Game day bucket go boom. Oh no, Bone Crusher went to exile. That means they can adventure it, right? All right, so this is going to be the questing beast, probably. Blood Braid. Okay, this could go very badly. Clothis. Wow, Clothis is great. Okay, so they're not going to be able to kill Jace and Ren 6 here. That was really good, though. So they can only... They can pick and choose, and they're at one. So they're just dead? They do have one card in hand. So they attack Ren 6 with everything? Okay. And then I block their 
Bloodbraid and a Pyromancer. They only have two mana open. So they're going to lose the Clothis as a blocker. And then my Tree Folk kills them? Okay. So they have to have an out on top of this. So we're, we're taking their Devotion down to two. So they have to have a creature... Hex Drinker. Sure. I can bounce that, right? I'm not drunk. Bounce your Hex Drinker. Tree Folk getting the job done, baby! I believe my opponent has scooped. No. Cool. Okay. I can't... I, I was worried that I just attacked Clothis. That is not a legal Magic the Gathering play. <laughs> but we got there with uh, my good boy, Abominable Tree Folk. I don't remember what the Abominable Snowman sounds like in the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie, but I'm pretty sure that that's what my Tree Folk sounds like. That was a nice game, wasn't it? A lot of back and forth there. Roy wasn't here to yell at me for mulligans earlier, so we've just been all slops. No props. One, the die roll. Do it. Not with this hand. Mulligan. This is much better. So, bottoming the Fable Passage here? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hold on. In the dark, I think we bottom the field here. I think having access to all these colors is slightly better. So we can Passage for blue, then Vista for green or black, and then Vista for green or black. So, yeah. All right. So immediately punished. <laughs> Never fails. But we shall see if we're playing against bad Tron or good Tron. Or the even crazier Tron that we uh, there was in the deck dump. I really hope this is bad Tron. Bad Tron is a reasonable matchup for us. Good Tron is a pretty poor one. Well, it's okay. Oh no. It's impossible to tell. Jeez. So Ashiok is like maybe kind of okay. If this is good Tron, Ashiok's okay. Uh, Force is very good. Pulse is okay. I think good Tron is supposed to be a really good matchup for us as well. Opponent tanking the tank out of their turn two here. So this must be bad Tron because good Tron wouldn't, wouldn't want to play anything here except for crack the map, I'm pretty sure. Crack the map. Unless this is good Tron, but they have no payoffs in hand, and they're they're contemplating a cantrip. Snack.
Tron decks are like the three bears. There's good Tron, bad Tron, and worse Tron. Actually, that's not like three bears, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Don't even trip, dog. So this is good Tron. They're going to fire off. Well, actually, good Tron and bad Tron both play Karn Liberated usually right now, so... We'll see what they play here. We're probably going to go Ice Fang, try to pick up a Force Negation. This could be... Chalice? Nope. Thought not here. Chalice on two. Luckily, I have my Kuligans command in my hand here, so... They're going to be okay, and this opponent is playing definitely the Badron. Yes, yes, quite certainly bad run. And then Matter Shaper, I'm thinking, could be most likely. No, they that was an X spell. Endless one? Double Snack. I'm the one with Karn, yeah. Good Tron and Bad Tron both play Karn. Worst Tron doesn't. All right, I don't need to fetch here, so I'm not gonna. Star Super Galactic. Get in there, boys. So we've got Kudagun's command at the end of their turn here. So luckily for us, it was not disastrous that they hit us with the Chalice on two. Could have been really bad, but it isn't too bad. This could be a real fatty, though. Yeah. So I literally can't do anything about that. But... Depending on what they get, we could be okay here. It's probably Ballista X2. I guess then we could Culligan's Command for Shattershock, but that, that doesn't actually help us. Yeah, this is a game where we definitely needed to pick up a Force of Negation before now. There's a chance we get to kill Karn, depending on what they get here, so that ain't not bad. I am not going to forget, dude, the, the only thing I'm playing right now, yes, the only thing I'm playing right now is Coligan's Command to destroy the Chalice on two. None of the other cards in my hand have text until I do that, so we're going to be okay. But I understand that I've made those kind of mistakes in the past. Gets Ballista, Blix, Ballista X2. So we're not going to be able to kill Karn here, but we are going to be able to put it to lo lo loyalty. Is that is that how I'm going to say low loyalty? And I think I'm going to do this proactively. It sucks because it lets them see that their Karn is going to be at 2. So they're going to be able to Ballista down both of my Ice Fangs, but this does negate the card advantage that they got here. So, destroy target artifact and shock, yeah. One of KCOM, got him. This deck seems to have it all when you have it all. Yeah. I don't have any more responses, right? Uh, okay. Okay. That's an okay pickup. Let's 
get that Karen down. So the question is, do, do I attempt to kill her walking ballista here? And if so, with what? I think I have to. And the problem is it takes my black mana, so I'm kind of shields down next turn. If I trophy it, they're likely to just remove both counters and kill my both my snakes. So I think I just try to drown it here. Because if I pass the turn, they just crank it up to... Suppose I could pass the turn and then counter their stuff over the course of the turn, let them kill my two snakes, and then trophy at end step. If I didn't have to counter something else, yeah, okay. This is the more conservative line. Karn from Human Resources. Karn is not not from Human Resources. There's nothing humane about Karn. Wait, hold on. Those are different things. Chalice X1. Yes. That card is almost irrelevant against me. My poor astrolabes. Do they have another chalice here? Crank Ballista. Okay, so now we trophy in response. They have five mana available. But then I have Ice Fang afterwards if they have Smasher. So if I trophy it, they're not likely to get a land because they're gonna kill. Okay, if I trophy, I, I can't snake. I think we're gonna drown this. Yeah. They do have four available here. So if they have chalice on two again, I could be in trouble. But luckily they played the first Chalice on one, so we're doing alrighty. So I had a reason that I didn't do that, Roy, which you will run into quickly. Jesus, toe tap in Christ. So all I can do is snake here. Jeez. Alright, and then we're stuck with three and four mana spells for the rest of the game. Wow, that's so brutal. They drew so many Chalices. I mean, attack? Question mark? Triple Chalice draw is so good. And I bet they have a Chalice in their sideboard for Karn, so it's literally all their Chalices. Goodness gracious. If this is Chalice X3, I'm just going to scoop out. Well, I'll take a draw step, see if I hit the Cryptic Command. But even if I do... No, I can cryptic one and then kill another. Although that doesn't really... Whoa! They can cast that right now. And I can't counter it. So we're just dead? I think we're just dead. They're not playing it. Okay. Okay. Oh, they only had six mana there. They couldn't play it. Yeah, we're screwed. Unless you can attack down the child. Hey, man, we used to be able to Oko them before some people ruined that. Once upon a time, my four and five color nonsense decks were able to able to deal with uh, with that bad mamma jamma. So we're going to take five here. Then my boy Ice Fang is going to be relegated to defense against the 5-5 five -five Trampler, which is not that good, but that's where we're at. They... Plus Karn on nothing. Yeah, I guess so, if they want to wish again next turn. Yeah, okay, I'm done with this game. Got got by the non-stop chalice draw. Okay, so pulse, decay. Maybe force, I don't think I want push. Cut one, ran and six. Ran and six with field is pretty good against them, but otherwise not 
the greatest thing in the world. Maybe a drown. Maybe a Jace. Opponent seems good natured. That's nice. Maybe I don't need the fourth force. Everything else in the deck seems pretty good. Jace is so good against them. Maybe cut a trophy here because the decays get through the chalice. Nah, a trophy's so good here. It's a really hard matchup to sideboard against. Our main deck is pretty good against them, but then they can get draws like that where they just eat us alive. I mean, they did hit natural Tron or, or fast Tron, I guess I'll call it. I got one Dead of Winter. Is Ashiok good? I do not think so. Do not think that Ashiok is good. I caught one dead a winner, yeah. I ended up doing that. Uh, I, I don't think Ashiok is good against Etron. Uh, so we're going to keep this because I can cast everything in my hand. It's not good, but it's got a field of ruin, so maybe we get to slow them down with that. Burning through playlists so quickly. Yeah, I know this one's long. Cool. So passage fetches blue, and we're off to the races. Opponent took a mull to six. They did keep a seven with quick Tron last game, so. Yeah, that's a card. What? Sure. Hmm. I... I I don't think they're supposed to bring that in here, which is great for me. I'm boogeyman, boogeyman, turn me on, boogeyman, boogeyman, do what you want. All right, let's draw another color of mana, just like that. So we get to play... Snack field, field them. Probably bought it in for the snap. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely bad against only snap. And, like, if and when it's going to be relevant, we're probably going to be able to kill it. Did they just... No. They're not missing a land drop, are they? No. No, you will die. Okay, good. So they don't have a tower in play. If they did, I would have a choice to make here where I specifically wouldn't field their tower because Roy is brilliant and uh, knows how the game works. So 
So I can just field whichever one of these. Um, you do not want to pass the turn in this circumstance, uh, because then they can just play the Tron lands and have access to their seven. I think we're getting a mountain here because that gives me access to Renin 6, and Renin 6 then gives me access to all of my colors in turn. So keeping them off Tron is a big deal. If they have an Eldrazi Temple, they could play a Thought Knot here, but they have a pretty tough set of choices. They did not miss a land drop. Yeah, they just they just uh, clicked through their combat phase. Cool. So, if anyone out there on the in the YouTube verse wants to try to come up with a name for this deck or the previous four color Euro decks I've been playing, you can hop down into the comments below. Ren six Field of Ruin equals GG. It's certainly not bad. They have a blast zone they could crank to three and kind of diffuse that. Um. We'll see what I draw here. Because this turn I can only have four mana. So I don't know if I want to play kind of naked Ren and Six. Okay, that's a killer pickup. Although because I don't have an Astrolabe, it doesn't really do that much for me. I'm pretty tempted to just slam Jace here. They could fire off a Smasher into me, so if I Fate Seal them, I can then block with Ice Fang. They can't get Tron. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just slamming the Jace here. I think we're slamming the Jace here. I think we're going to Fate Seal them. And then if they, even if they have a Smasher, they can't take my Jace off the table. Snow Patrol. Snow Patrol is definitely uh, definitely a name that I considered before. Karn on the bottom. Yes, please. Um, Snow Patrol, Snow Control. Um, this one, because it's uh, black, blue, red, and green, uh, Iceberg is a really good name for this one. Crap. What is this? Oh, Crank Blast Zone. Yeah, yeah, sure. So he, the funny thing about the next turn is, like, if I play Ren and Six and pick up Field of Ruin, then we can knock them down one of their lands. And then if they crack Blast Zone, they go down another land. Okay, so we can aggressively field. No, we can't. Well, they're probably not taking Ren and Six here. I wonder if they're clever enough to notice that they, they should be taking Ren and Six here. I guess I have Trophy for their Blast Zone anyway. Yeah, yeah, you uh, you called the line the same line I was calling, Roy. Man, I want to be where the action is. Action! I've got so much to give. Not to get some to you. So we could bounce Thought Knot and Trophy. We can Tree Folk and Brainstorm. Got a lot of options here. I don't have black mana right now, so I actually can't trophy. So I think we can brainstorm first. See what we get there. Probably playing tree folk. Depends on what I draw here. Kill a Tron land, kill it. Yeah, I don't have black mana, so I can't actually do that yet. There's black mana. Okay. So I'm gonna put forest 
and something I want to shuffle away on top. I think Snapcaster, because that means I don't have to deal with the Craft Digger's Cage. So I get one black mana, which means I'm trophying a Tron land. So Ice Fang beats the Thought Knot. They could Blast Zone it and then crack my Jace for four. That's fine. So yeah, we're, we're definitely trophying one of these lands. Kind of sucks because I can't play anything else this turn. I'm going to trophy something that isn't a tower because then if they have a map, they're going to have to uh, try to get... Or they're going to have to tap their tower to go get it. So they can Stone Rain themselves here and then crack my Jace for four, which is not good enough. Scavenger Rounds is good, though. It's a pretty good pickup. Not great, but looks OK. It's medium, which is a little bit all right. They could have Smasher here. Should be pretty bad. My colors are a little messed up, which is not great. Uh, please, no. No, don't do it. Have a heart. I mean, they have to attack with both. I get to trade with the Thought Knot and draw a card. So. Wait, I should trade with the Smasher, right? Because if I kill a Thought Knot, it costs me a... Uh, I, have to, I have to discard to kill a Smasher. So I should trade with the Smasher and kill a Thought Knot on my turn. Yeah, I think so. If I trade with the Smasher... What do you got? Yeah. But with attacking Jace makes sense. I think I'm going to take the Smasher off the table here. Yeah, I still have another Jace in my deck. Yeah. Vista can get me another black mana. Oh, field is great here. So we can field their blast. I guess it doesn't really matter now. I probably should have fired off the black. Probably just play the tree folk now. Because they only have one Tron land. And then if they crank the blast zone. Yeah, okay, okay. I figured it out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if they can beat a 6-6. Six, six. I mean, Karn will mess me up, but we'll have time to deal with him a little bit. It's going to be 7-7 seven, seven, and 8-8 eight, eight next turn, so. Let's see what they got. Mindstone, that's medium. Thought not. Karn. Okay. Karn's fine. Fine-ish. Oh, I can just attack the Karn down. So I don't need to worry about him. And I don't need to kill the Blast Zone yet, so I have all my mana available to me this turn. So we could play Maelstrom Pulse and then hold Coligan's Command up for whatever they fetch. Mm. 
We'll see what we draw. Titan, sure. They did not going to have mana for that anytime soon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They don't have Tron here. So Titan would 100% end my game. I think they're out of basics in their deck. They should be. I think we... So I'm going to ask for late before I do anything else, so let's do that. That's an excellent pickup. Okay, so that, that clears up my, my game plan here. So fetch, we can get another black here. Can field, then I have four mana left. Attack the Karn. See if the field takes them off a of mana. Although, hmm. I guess the question is, do I... So I can leave up Trophy and or Pulse. Jeez, this is complicated. Yeah, they usually only play two wastes. All right. Um, cracking them for nine is probably good. Okay, I can't use my trophy or my uh, astrolabe for colors right now. I don't know if Karn can get anything else that matters, but all right, sure. Let's field the blast zone. Forest. Okay, I can only trophy or pulse. Think if I crack them for nine and kill their Karn here, we can just kill them next turn, right? Not necessarily, but probably. The question is, what else can their Karn get that I'm afraid of? Is there anything I can get that I'm afraid of? Like, Bridge doesn't do it. I think we just pass here. We've got Trophy into Pulse in, and KCOM, so I think we're okay. Not ground. No, no, no. We're not taking down Scavenger Grounds. Okay, so they hit the Power Plant. But they're now on 6 mana, so Titan's Titan's not coming down here. This is uh, Endbringer or Reality Smasher. I think they're just dead. Eugene would be really good here. That would mess me up really badly. That would have been a reason to proactively trophy. Crap. That is unbelievable against us right here. So that means they have Titan mana for next turn too. If they kill my tree folk, I'm screwed. If they don't kill my tree folk, I kill them. Uh, I should have trophied the Thought Nazi in response to draw a card. Okay, they made a token? Okay, so I just win. Cool. So they Karn minus, sure. Oh, they can get Ballista for one with that? No, that won't save them. It could. It won't. Yeah, because they could play Ballista X1 here. So that's a blocker. So I have to kill literally all their creatures and shock them. So we trophy the Thought Knot. Draw an extra card and hopefully we get there. Mm, yeah, I would have had the force. 
that I couldn't cast. Oh, now I don't have to kick on them. All right, cool. We got there. So, uh, green. Oh, I do need one green, but I don't need two. So that makes my tree folk lethal. So we, we do end up getting there. Oh, and then we get there excessively. So, dead of winter, knock out their team, and kill them with the, the tent and tree folk. So, whew, squeeze that one out. Yeah, they, they, they said they misclicked. Okay, they scooped that one, but they're going to take... I'm going to go take a little stress pee, and then we're going to go into game number three here. I really want this Renin 6 back. Maybe the early drowns aren't so worthwhile. But killing their creatures is so freaking good. It's a really hard matchup to sideboard for, I think. Still. Man, we haven't seen this Lonely Sandbar. Oh, I, had to, I think I had to play it in one of my earlier games. Yeah, okay. So looking for Force of Negation. Yeah. That's a terrible opener. Please mulligan opponent. Do it. Have a heart. Spice, spice baby sound like a deck name. It does... But it doesn't thematically connect to this deck, other than the fact that it's mildly spicy. Uh, mulligan the sh out of this one. That's much better. The question is, what am I bottoming here? I'm pretty sure it's the force. No, it's the snap, right? Yeah, it's the snap. So, turn one passage. Yeah. So this this could work out really well. And actually, pitching the snake to force is not too bad here. I have 48 followers. Almost, almost hit that 50, baby. No, no, I get spicy plus ice, ice, baby. I, 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 I got it, bud. But I, I just, it doesn't. Again, oh, because it is icy. Yeah! If I was going to go for a name like that, I might go Spice Ice, baby. Alright, so we get to play an actually slightly better sequence here. And fetch any color basic now. Uh, no, I have to get red or green, so I'm going to get green. So that I can play red and six next turn off the fields. And then Fabled Passage will come in on turn four, because we'll start recurring next turn. 
So this only goes badly if they have some way to um, counter Ren 6, which I, I don't think that they do. GQ, sure. Chalice on one? Mind Stone. Yeah, sure. So Thought Knots here is going to come down too late. Yeah, it should be in good shape here. Yes. So play the field, yeah. And then just get this Renin 6 in there. Pick up my fetch land and pass the turn. And we got just like the best. No mountain or forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught it. I caught it. Ooh, double tower. Roy's happy. Because this means I'm very likely to kill a non-tower land, even without him telling me. Please play Karn. Would like to exile the Cryptic, which kind of sucks. But I think Ice Fang is generally very good against their deck. Ah, eh, Cryptic's pretty good too. I'm pretty far off of casting Cryptic. Please play Karn. Please play Karn. Please play Karn. Please play Karn. Not Thought Not Seer. Chalice. Do I let this resolve? I can't, right? I can't let that resolve, can I? That's that's insane, right? I got the pulse in my hand though. And I've got a Force Negation for next turn. I think I'm letting this resolve. It's risky, but like, I think that's what this matchup is, is about right now. Ah, that's a... That's a card. Jungle buggy, jungle buggy. Ding, 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 ding. Should have gotten a blue there so I could hard cast the force of negation. Yeah, no, that was definitely a misplay. And get closer to the cryptic command. So that's misplay on two axes. Huh? I wonder if it'll matter. Ugin? No, this is an Eldrazi. Smasher... Zokyo. Yeah. So not... Yeah, we got some cascading bad stuff happening here. And I can't play my second Ren and Six right now. Right. Ha. <laughs> well. Well, shoot. So my Fable Passage for blue, I can Cryptic. And then Maelstrom Pulse next turn, play Ren and Six. I've got only five mana here, so. Well, losing Ren and Six was going to happen no matter what, there, I think.
Lack of blue blue is really giving us the suck without using astrolabe. Why do we need to do it without using astrolabe? So that kind of sucks. I think what we're doing this turn. Do I? Okay. So I'm definitely fetching blue here. I can force a negation that, and then on my turn, I can play pulse on the chalice and then have snake. So, yeah. I think that's where we're at. Yeah, it's a somewhat medium pickup. So I got a pulse, and then I got to leave. Yeah. Black blue here is fine. If they play another chalice on. No, if they play a chalice on one, I can counter it. If they play a chalice on two, I cannot. So. There are some bad things that can happen here. Let's see which one of them. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But it's not too bad. I'm getting a little bit buried here. Diffusing my Renin Six early was pretty pretty critical. Was it worth it to cryptic counter draw instead of force? I I really like this cryptic as backup for a whole bunch of awfulness that could happen, but like, yeah. I think we're playing Renin Six this turn, picking up field, fielding them. Take them off of there because it doesn't doesn't really matter. Ghost quarter is not particularly good against me, so let's just take them off of one of their Tron lands here. If I get blue, I can drown. If I get green, I can decay. I think I'd rather have drown right now. I can drown something that casts up to four, so that's pretty good. If I want to, I can drown the spirit that attacks Renin Six here, but. I don't think I need to do that. I don't think we care about the Ghost Quarter. I think we have more than enough map. Map can get them Blast Zone. That's okay. Right! They can just do that. Yeah, that's a play they can totally make. Sure. Suppose next turn I can bounce the Ugin and then drown it. Now we're in an okay place. Cavern. Gross. Reshaper. Not so gross. Oh no, we can't bounce the Ugin and drown it because I don't have a... They don't have another card in the graveyard. Bounce the Ugin and then force it? Yeah, I have enough mana. I do have enough blue. One, two, three. Yeah, we do. And I have to tap their board, which is going to give them... Yeah. 
I think we're going to bounce the Ugin, draw a card, take five next turn, and hopefully be able to come back. We have enough removal to kill everything they have right now, but... The, the question is, are we going to be able to pull out of this? Top deck uh, Abominable Tree Folk or a um, Dead of Winter. You're pretty good. So we got a two. We have double removal spell, so plenty of ways to get out of this. In in my deck, let's draw an Uro maybe. Snappy boy. Wow, what a snappy dresser. Okay, so we'll do everything during combat, I guess. I guess I could trade the snap for one of their creatures and then hold my drown on the lock. Three, four. TKS. Cool. So I could just counter that and then snap, block, kill the other one. And what's the best card for me to get out of my graveyard? Probably the Drown. Okay, so we're going to counter that. We can't counter that. So I have to let it resolve, then I can go. Removal spell, removal spell, snapcaster. So I can drown one of their other cards. I don't think my mana is going to work out here, but that's okay. Play the snap. Target the Drown. Oh no, this works out perfectly. Cool. Allow the Thought Not to Resolve. Uh, I'm going to fetch before I do anything else, just in case my colors are screwed up here. I think I want to get a natural red. No, I want green in case I draw a row. I'm going to Abrupt Decay. Spirit token, no cards in hand, they get to draw one, and then I get to drown their Thought Not Seer. Okay, cool. Map is fine here. They go end of turn. Drown TKS. Draw a card. We would draw Jace or a. Well, these are all fine. Jace, Uro. I guess we could just draw an Uro and just win the game. I don't know. What do you think, Roy? Should we just draw an Uro and win the game? I guess that's okay. Question is, do I escape a row now, or do I leave up the second snap? They're on one card in hand. They have a map that can get them scavenging ground. I definitely want to play a row right now. And the beat goes on. Just like my love everlasting. Yeah, we beat one Ugin already. If they have another one, yeah, they're going to beat us up here a little bit. They have seven mana here. Okay, good draw. You have to take my snap here. 
but then Uro's gonna mess them up, so. Yep. Oh, they got Power Plant. I wonder what they have in their hand. Whatever it is, it's terrifying. Well, Chase is a great draw. So... Can Bounce their Thought Knot pre-combat? Or just see if they block with it? I think I would rather Brainstorm here in case whatever is in their hand is a non-Eldrazi terrifying card. Because if it's not an Eldrazi, they can't make it uncounterable. I think we're going to Jace before we do anything else. See if we can't pick up a counter. But no more Snapcasters left. Trophy's pretty good. Could be setting up for All is Dust. They could be setting up for uh, mm, uh, Small Emrakul. So. Uh, I was supposed to kill one of their Tom lands there. Okay, they didn't have it. This could be Sundering Titan. Karn. Okay. The Walking Blista? Christopher Walking Blista? Uh, there's the... Okay, so... We're going to have to beat whatever they get. Yep. I think we can beat almost anything, though, because we can, we can Trophy. And we have a Jace. So Titan's going to completely crush our lands here. But then we get to bounce. Yeah. I guess I could have trophied the Thought Knot, but I know what's on top of my deck. Okay. Okay, so... We'll just kill it now. Yeah, they're going to time out anyway, but I think we could beat that. Yeah. All right, we got 3-1 with a timeout there. Yeah, I, I know it does. Should have floated BG with the Astrolabes in response to Karn. Well, they could always tighten after combat, right? Like, they could just pass the phase, and then we lose our mana. So I don't know if there's a huge advantage to, to doing that line. Because there was literally nothing to Abrupt Decay. Yeah, but losing it with the Titan in play, losing our lands with the Titan in play is better than losing our lands with the Titan in their hand. I think losing our lands with the Titan in their hand would have been really bad. Because they could kill all our, all our untapped lands. And with Karn in play, we can't. Astrolabe. In the dark, I'm going to keep this hand. This is everything my deck is about. <laughs> it's uh, definitely not the best modern hand you're ever going to see, but this does play magic, so let's see if we get to play with my opponent here. They're on Breach, I'm a little bit worried. 
they are probably on breach. Okay, my deck does play... Oh, that's a good draw. So we get to fetch blue here. My deck does play Force of Negation, which is pretty good against the Breach deck. We just have to make sure that they don't resolve it to Fairy. Yeah, this is definitely Breach. So opponent's deck is going to try to resolve Grinding Station and Underworld Breach. They flipped zero artifacts off their Emery, so that's really good for us. And now our Drown and Lock is super live. Get Island here so that we can play Snack or Drown Lock this turn. Definitely want to make sure that Teferi Time Raveler does not resolve here. And before you ask Roy, killing their Hall of Heliod's Generosity is not a big deal. But killing their Hallowed Fountain could be with a no Astrolabe draw. The Modern Underworld Breach deck, yeah. I think it's my first encounter with them too. It's nice to know what we're up against. You can, you can do it very well. You're the best in the world, I can tell. Alright, do I want to kill Emery? No. And do I want to field them? Also, no. They have blue and white. That's all the colors they need right now. So I think the best play for me here would have been the snow-covered forest in my hand, probably. Because now I have to fetch a color that I don't actually need a copy of. So we should have all our colors here and be able to get closer to casting this cryptic, but... I goofed, so maybe we're not. The cryptic in this deck seems really ambitious. Okay, grinding station is real good for them here. Um, because it, mm, um, they, I don't know if they're they must be new on this deck. Maybe they're new on this deck because man, I should have snake and blocked there. Man, I'm just uh, just a little bit tired, just goofing all over the place. Should have killed their Emery there, because I, I was just getting weirded out by... No, no, I'm just tired. I'm misplaying. So we could have killed their Emery there, and now they have Grinding Station and a zero mana artifact set up, so they can start looping. So as soon as they get... Um... Sorry, as soon as they get themselves a... Uh, do we play Band Control yet? No, we're supposed to play that after this. No, this is still the first deck. This is the last match with it. So this is going to be a long one. Opponent is burning down their clock here, so... So I don't get to move past my misplay, which feels feels crappy. I'm just forced to sit here and sulk. There we go. Hopefully we can draw another Drown and Lock, though, or Force of Negation. Yeah, that. That'll, that'll, that'll do. I mean... So, we have the ability to Field and Drown, but not Double Drown. So, it is worth Fielding... And I'm going to field them off of their Hallowed Fountain and then get an Island. Okay. Probably should have just attacked here because their Emery attacking me is not going to happen anyway. So. Are you allowed to drown Emery? I absolutely am. I'm not going to, but I'm allowed to.
Astrolabe. Yep. Okay, so they can get a breach going here. They've milled two breaches, so if I kill their hall, it's going to put them in a bit of a spot. We could kill Emery at end of turn because I have two drowns. Alternatively, we could Dead of Winter to kill the Emery and not kill the Hall of Helios Generosity because they don't currently have enough mana to activate it. So I, I think that's where we're at. Because I want to stop... They play four breaches, 100%. I think I want the maximum number of counter spells that I can play. So I think... I think we play field... Attack for one. So I should have attacked for one last turn, but... Oh, if I dead of winter, I can't drown. So once again, I've screwed up. Hooray. So I'm not... I don't need to kill their hall now, because I screwed up that, that direction. It's having a bit of mana problems not being able to put my lines together in my head right now either. So should have drowned at the end of last turn, especially because we drew the Snapcaster. So now we have infinite counters, so the thing that's choking us mostly is mana. They have no artifacts in the graveyard, but they can sack the Astrolabe again. I think we just need to leave up the maximum amount of counters here. So Emery will get to draw them another card, but they have two breaches in their graveyard. They can't get one on top at a reasonable pace right now. So at minimum, I should be able to take them off their Hall of Heliod's Generosity here. Um, and with all of my mana up, perhaps they will try to play around getting wrecked here. They haven't milled over a... What are words? Baby, don't hurt me. They haven't milled over a Mox Hammer yet, so that helps. This deck slaps. What is up, Venom's Flame? This deck does indeed slap. This deck is a total jam. EE0, yeah. They mill themselves again? So this, this turn we're definitely killing their Hall of Helios Generosity, getting another black... And then possibly drowning. So that is their only Hall of Heliod's Generosity, should be. Uh, they put Breach on top in response to Field of Ruin. Okay, so they're not necessarily going to draw that. I don't know if they're aware. Um, so we'll get the next black, and then do I drown the Emery here? I think so. I think one counter next turn will hopefully do it. I just really want to shut off the card advantage they've been getting. I let it go on too long, so I definitely screwed up a bunch there, but... Yeah. This is an excellent draw, because that's a third blue. So this means I have uh, Cryptic or Snap Drown. Hopefully they play... Something that taps them down a bit. Hopefully they're playing an, an Urza version. Yeah, Venom's Flame has been here before, so. That's some consistently pretty good numbers in the last little while. It's been great. So, moving up in the world. We used to have two, two or three viewers, and now we've consistently got six to ten. So this is their only haul based on what you've posited. They probably just want to increase the, like, the, yeah, they're, they're increasing their, their, um, their breach density. 
They play a grinding station, that's fine. The only thing we need to worry about at this point is double breach. Okay, so I can't get particular value off of my Snapcaster at the end of turn here. I need to get the blue to play the Cryptic. I guess I could Cryptic bounce something of theirs, draw a card. I could bounce my Ice Fang draw a card. That would draw, put me up two cards. Oh, dude, you don't, yeah, you don't even know. This deck is amazing. This deck is, is so much gas. I think, uh, this sucks. I want one more blue. All right, we're just going to... Snapcaster puts them on. All right, we got one more turn before I have to play the Snapcaster to actually change the clock. Playing it this turn doesn't change the clock, right? I'm going to say those words and believe them. Well, I've killed people with Ice Fan Quaddles before with this deck. Man, we are, yeah, we're seriously moving up. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted to draw, so... Never punished, eh. Hope the wonderful people of the internet... Uh, Appreciate a impression of someone you've never met, and likely never will. And if if my uh, if my acquaintance is indeed watching this match, know that I deeply deeply love your enthusiasm for Magic: The Gathering. I really do. All right, what do you got? I got double counter. What do you got? E E X two. I mean. That definitely beats my Ice Fang. Cryptic counter draw? No, that's greedy. Well, no, they only have three mana left up. Yeah, okay. Let's cryptic counter draw. Yeah, I still have Drown up here. <laughs> that is excellent. Yeah, there it is. Let's show you the way. Ah, oh, freak out. Freak out. Emre. Why? All right, so that's going to eat a dead of winter. They've milled themselves down to 25 cards. They got two breaches in their yard. Wait, nope, three breaches. All right, so there's one breach left. Wait, no, so if the only thing I care about is breach, I think I just keep beating them up with Ice Fang here and let them draw cards with Emery. No, I care about breach and Thassa's Oracle. Thassa's Oracle, naked Thassa's Oracle could win the day. If they have one more breach in their deck, though, the only thing I need to do is force it or snap drown. So I think we're okay to do this. I guess that if they have to fairy breach right now, we get screwed up and we die. They do have enough mana for that, so we could lose there. Transmute model. Yep. Oh no, we wouldn't get beat by Teferi. All we have to do is snap drown and then uh, force it. They got the breach, but they're not going to play it. So, snap for no value here? No, I think I think I want to keep all my resources. Feels really weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven mana, force of negation, snap. So snap drown plus pitch for force. So I think we're okay here, and with them only having five mana. Okay. So they're setting up for they're probably setting up for Teferi breach, and we can beat that. And then they're out of breaches, and they don't have a Hall of Helion's Generosity anymore. Okay, so... Can I hardcast Force here? No. Yes? So, hardcast Force, then I have four mana up, then I go blue, and then filter. Yeah, we can. 
Double checking. Yeah, cool. Got him. Freak out. Yeah, 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 yep. Uh, let's fetch first. And now I think we have snap drown, snap drown up. I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. As long as I don't play the astrolabe, I have snap drown, snap drown. Yeah, I do. And how many Teferis are there down? There's one in exile. And then one in their yard. So maybe they have one more. Probably not playing four. Sure. Grinding station's fine. Oh, well, I suppose they could go for the mill me out plan. They've got... 18 mils here. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think I'm playing a snap at the end of this turn. Putting them on a three turn clock seems reasonable. I can use my cryptic. And if I want to cast cryptic, I guess I cryptic bounce my astrolabe. Yeah. So I've got Snap Drown and I've got Assassin's Trophy. I don't know how much how, how much the trophy matters here. Ren and Six puts me up a land, but I don't have a tr I don't have any red mana right now. So let's play Astrolabe. Seven mana. Okay. Um, Oh, I can I can put lethal into play next turn. Okay, so that's where we're at. So we play snap, crack them for five, and then Ren and six ping them for one. Oh, that's bad, right? They have enough mana to go off afterwards, but depending on what they play first, we get the trophy. So play snap, grab. Drown. So they got three mana here. Oh, they're passing. I thought they had the breach in their hand. Okay, so we're just going to kill them here. Lucky me? Question mark? I swear they had the breach in their hand, but maybe they don't have any more fetchable mana sources. I will say, at minimum, this was a very interesting game. Yeah, they're dead. They goofed it a little bit, I think. Yeah, they conceded. All right, so they know what's up, at least. Yeah, they did tutor for breach earlier, right? Like, I'm like 90% sure that they did, so... But, uh, I mean, that's where we're at, so I'll take it. All right, so Leyline, I'm pretty sure, comes in. Force comes in. Abrupt Decay seems good. Uh, at least one in Red and Six is going to go out. Probably a Jace, maybe a Cryptic. Uh, Ashiok's probably good here. No, Ashiok's actually not that good. I, d I don't think Ashiok's worth it. So the problem with Ashiok is that it, other than in stopping them from search, which is relevant, don't get me wrong, but they can combo off through an Ashiok. Um, they can't combo off through a ley line. They need to take the ley line off the table. Um, 
I think the ice fangs are going to go out, even though it literally won me the game. But I don't think that's supposed to happen. And I think this is where we're at. 7-7. Seven seven. I think Abominable Tree Folk is worth keeping because it's a really fast... Oh, the Dead of Winters are really bad, too. Hold on. Hold on. We got more cuts. We got We got better cuts. We got much better cuts. I'm a goofball. I'm just not used to having so much freedom on the cuts here. If I wanted to bring in one more card, I'm bringing one Ashiok, because you can sometimes get them. They are playing a lot of fetch lands, and they are playing Muddle. Something like this seems good. I like it. I like it a lot. It does feel weird to have um, Leyline and Drown, but... When they start going off and you want to be able to cast the Drown. And then putting two cards in their graveyard before they start moving is not impossible. So I think that's fine. I think this is good. Feels weird to keep Scions without the Snake, but I think they're better. All right, we're going to try it this way. We are up a game. If we get turn three and we don't have a Force, we're just going to get blowed up. So let's rock into the final game of the final match here, potentially. Okay, this hand sucks. I don't think there's any world I keep that, so mull. Opponent kept their seven. This is much better. Is it? It's definitely better. So I'm gonna bottom a drown. Then this Vista can get blue, and hopefully this buys us enough time. It's not a good hand, but uh good luck, Godspeed. The thing we have to worry about is Teferi. Our sideboarding doesn't doesn't really work great here. Uh, in terms of if they just resolve to fairy and bounce my ley line, then they get to go off. But stopping to fairy is our number one priority in this hand. Really, really doesn't do that. But Opponent says the combo lol. I don't. Not entirely sure where they're at. We Prada? No, we Gucci. You got it. I always thought we were GQ. But I guess we're Field of Ruin. Do you want to lead with Vista? I was thinking about it. I'm not entirely sure. Drown and Leyline. Bring in the ley line, you gotta cut the drown, right? I mean No no madman would ever keep ley line in their deck. Or keep drown in their deck when they're boarding in the ley lines, right? I mean that'd just be nuts. It just wouldn't make any sense. And they'd clearly get punished for it immediately, right? Especially in an important ish matchup. Alright, so this is gonna be Teferi for sure. Oh, it's grinding station. That's really good. Please grind me. Grind, please. Come on, just do it. It'd be great. It's going to be so good. You need my Uro fuel. He's going to be a happy camper. Draw land? I would like to draw land. That's kind of close. Maybe with the Uro we get to draw land. All right. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Stack triggers. Go. Skidoosh. Nothing but net, baby. All right, let's not lose the game now. <laughs> Why aren't you a force of negation? You're supposed to be a force of negation. I wanted a different free spell in my hand. Oh, they juked. 
All right. All right. All right. Nothing's all right. And they put a single servo into play. This is probably okay. I can drown the servo. Ugh. Where were you last turn? All right, we're, we're jamming Jace. We're brainstorming. We're try to pick up a land. Wow. That sucks. Whew. All right. We're, we're getting juked. Oh, why wasn't I expecting mystical speed? I guess we haven't played against it all night. I mean, these drowns are live against the servos, right? Grinding station. Uh, sure. So I guess... I guess next game we have to make sure to... Uh, have... A couple of Dead of Winters? Hopefully they start playing some non-creature spells so I can put food in my graveyard for Uro. Could draw Royal Scions would be great. Ooh. Thassa's Oracle Hardcast. Okay. I guess this is the this is the darkest timeline. Uh it was our turn, Venom Slame, because we were resolving a um Uh, we were trying to resolve our Jace. I just wasn't thinking about uh, about Mystical Dispute at all. So, I'm going to drown a token here. And then next turn we get to go Snap Drown. You get to Uro reasonably soon, so like maybe we're gonna be okay. Hopefully they don't play anything that I have to force. I don't really want to. Okay, I I have to force that. Uh, we're not gonna pitch force here. We're gonna pitch drown, and hopefully not uh, not have to cast the other force. Maybe they don't have a mystical dispute again. I really hope not. Swan Song. Okay, well, I get to force. So, I want the Swan Song to resolve. Because I get a 2 2 bird, which is a king on this board. And then we force by pitching my snap. And then we have enough fuel here for the Uro next turn, which is pretty great. So, like. Out of all the ridiculous ways this game could be going. Okay, do I just trophy the Sahili now? I think playing the Uro is more important. There's, I feel like there's a chance that they have a way to stop it if I let them untap. I think the Uro kind of is going to pull us way back into this game in a way that uh, trophying the Sahili isn't, isn't going to do for them. And we ripped a land. That was pretty good. I will cop all the money. Oh, I could have attacked for two there. Nah, I, I, I want my bird on D. This bird is thick. Thick, flappy boy. Astrolabe, that's a really good draw here. Man, they almost have enough uh, power and toughness to kill my arrow. Bobble, yeah, more more bros, more serve bros. This game is fantastic. Have I told anyone that I love Magic the Gathering and I love Modern? I love Modern. This deck is fantastic. Surprised they didn't go for a mill kill after they resolved Sahili. I mean, they certainly still can, right? Because they can... One, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they can mill me for 33 right now. Pretty quickly, too. All right. 
So they get a draw here. Probably should trophy them, but... The All right. So I'm going to attack with both. And see what they do about it. If they're willing to trade a bunch of servos for uh, for Uro here, I could trophy one of them. And they're just jumping. Cool. So we're going to trophy Sahili. Hopefully this resolves. I'd like this to resolve. Got three mana open here, so. They're paying cost. Muddle the mixture. Yeah. Gah. I mean, thanks to Uro, we're not that badly off. I don't think I want to field them here. I guess I can field at the end of their turn. Thanks to the Uro life gain, I don't feel like I'm in danger. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, we're screwed. Yeah. I think Ashiok's definitely not good here. They plus to fairy? They didn't bounce my Uro? What in the flip? <laughs> you thought Abominable Tree Folk would have forsaken us? Never, Roy. Abominable Tree Folk was always by our side. Where there were was only one set of footprints in the snow, that was when the Abominable Tree Folk carried us. Okay, so we can rip Abrupt Decay or Assassin's Trophy here and get out of danger. So let's attack. Let's just attack with both. I guess this can attack Sahili. Start knocking her down. We don't we don't have any burn spells of any kind, so. I desperately need to pick up Abrupt Decay or Assassin's Trophy. That is neither of those things. Okay. Little surprised that they didn't try to kill my arrow at any point. Okay, let's get Island, Astrolabe. Let's see if we can draw Rub Decay or Trophy here. That's what we need. Oh, I'm definitely a heathen. I just... It's just a good poem, man. Nothing wrong with good poetry. So... Get a Mount Anne. Do I Ashiok them here? I guess I can start milling them, and then it gives them something to attack. I could also Ashiok myself if I need to escape my Uro next turn. Gives me Snap Fuel, although I think I had to exile both my Snapcasters on the early flurry of stuff here. I think we just slam the Tree Folk, tap their Thassa's Oracle. See if this has any value. Oh, they, they had to read that thing. Definitely definitely had to read Abominable Tree Folk. That's fair. All right, we're almost at four hours, by the way, on one league. I don't know if we're playing band control. So G3, we might want to board minus four drown, plus four dead of winter. That is absolutely possible. Man, if they have breach here, I'm going to be really tilted. Because they combo easy. Like, not not even a little close. Okay, they don't... They don't, they don't have it now? I don't... I'm not sure what's happening, but... Okay. Yeah. Okay, now they have it. 
Because they've got EE in there. They should be fine. We killed the fairy with the swole folk. No. They could have blocked me forever. Oh, they get they get to go up on servos every time here. Because for some reason escaping is is casting. Alright, they got the mocks, but they're Thassa's Oracles in play? I'm interested to see how they win here with their Thassa's Oracle in play. They can Echoing Truth it and use all their mana. Okay, got it. I want to see them do it, but... Next turn with Tree Folk. Yeah, that, that's not happening. You realize they have all these servos to block me, right? Like, they still had, like, six servos? They, they can't block bounce their Oracle with Teferi, but they have an Echoing Truth. Because they bounced my uh, Ley Line with Teferi. Mm, that's true. They don't have any white mana right now, but they could play the Astrolabe with one of their islands. Yeah, okay, yep, that's that's another line too. They could play another Teferi and bounce, bounce the Thassa's Oracle with it. Okay, so now I get to see their whole sideboard plan. Then Monastery Mentor. Okay, so we definitely need, I would say, three Dead of Winters. I don't think I want four, but three should be fine. Okay. Just want to love you, baby. Oh, Maelstrom Pulse is probably pretty good here, because it can also kill Teferis. I think I want the Ashiok out... Maelstrom Pulse and three Dead of Winters. I think Drown. Probably good entirely. Ah, oh, so we could probably keep the Ashiok, huh? I think something like this is probably fine. So on the play here, we kind of know what we need to watch out for. All right, I think we're good with this. Yeah, Ashiok looked bad there, but just because Ashiok looked bad there, it's I, I think I'm leaving the one. It's like it could come up, it could be relevant, and then... Okay, so this is turn two, random six. I don't have a blue card for the force, but I think I'm going to keep this because then we start trophying. Although we get tap lands. Okay, this could lose very easily, but we kept it, so let's make it work. Alright, I'm playing Ley Lines. Probably should, should have mulled. It's alright. We'll be fine. We'll totally be fine. We're going to be great. Everything's going to be fine. Well, that's a good pickup. Not as good as literally any blue card, but it's a good one. So, if they play Grinding Station this turn, we're just going to blow it up with Maelstrom Pulse. Because it slows down how quickly they can combo. Emery? Grinding Station. Yeah, okay, so we're just, we're just going to blow that up. 
sorcery speed. Just take them off their first piece of combo. Because otherwise they can literally win right now. So we'll Vista for black. And now we have a pitch for force, so we're, we're kind of even safer. And pick up our Vista. Okay, pretty good spot here. No, we can hard cast ley lines in this deck. Hard casting ley line is not not the end of the world. Alright, so I don't have to force this here. And the question is, do I? So it gives them two cards with the astrolabe. So if I let it resolve, I'm kind of going down two cards. I'm going to be giving them a land with trophy. Pitching one of my Jaces kind of sucks, but I, I think, I think I gotta force it. We could just trophy him. We can just trophy him, but like, they get to bounce Astrolabe, draw a card, then I give them a land. And I can't play Trophy Force on the next turn. Yeah, this is just a shitty situation to be in. Oh, if they bounce the Astrolabe, I ping it with Renin 6. So actually, all right, all right, we let it resolve. It's fine, it's fine. Bounce your Astrolabe. Do it. They didn't do it. That's great. Sick. Sick. New blue card, sick also. This one's sick nasty. It's a little sick nasty. A little thick nasty. Alright, so no matter what colors I get here, I can't double trophy. So I think I want a blue so I can get closer to casting Jace. This also means I can snap trophy next turn if if I want. And also no value snap too. Get out of here, nerd. <laughs> Volume one, thick. Volume two, thick nasty. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dog. That's what it's all about. So breach plus counter bat backup doesn't get me here. They need another land. They probably have it, but EE zero. Fine, you got it. Time Raveler again. So, rinse and repeat? Because if they have land, breach... If they have land, breach, and... Land, breach, and the Mox Amber, they can kill me here. I think I have to force this one. They can counter it, but then they can't. Then they lose the ma having the mana to kill me. Why did they play the EE first? That's the question I have. I guess that means their Emery is going to cost one afterwards if they have an Emery in their hand. So we counter with force pitch. Let it resolve. They can't just be. If I let it resolve, I can just die. I might just die if I let this resolve. Yeah, they can dispute the force, but then then they can't win this turn. They need. I mean, if they had double Mox Amber in their hands, they could win. If their hand is double Mox Amber breach, they can kill me here. So I think we have to force this. And I think... So 
Snap gives me more wiggle room right now. Jace gives me more power. All right, let's let's take the let's let's exile the snap. I have blue red open. They don't know that I don't have another counter, so. Dying is not ideal. Agreed. Oh, why are you tapping mana? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. That makes sense with the uh, EE. Sure. Okay. So really wanted to draw counter magic here. So... The really crappy thing about where we are now, it doesn't doesn't even matter. There's no way I can take the Teferi off the table and go up cards to get a solution for the breach. So, I'm pretty sure the best thing to do this turn is just play Jace and Brainstorm. Because now I, 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 even if I trophy the Teferi, it doesn't do anything for me. Sadly, look at this Leyline of the Void as I'm about to die. I mean, they, they could just not have it. So that's, that's where we're at. Um, we need them to not have it here. And if they do, we're dead. So, one time, please, maybe. And they can draw two extra cards and still combo? Yeah. So, they should be fine here. All right, we're dead? Yeah, we're dead. They need... They, they have the bobble... Oh, wait a second. No, because they can grind themselves. Yeah, they can grind themselves twice here. Yeah. Trophying Teferi forces them to play another Teferi and follow it up with Breach. I don't agree. Yeah, they, they had enough mana. First, first of all, it gives them another land. Have I ever seen the kill? I've played the kill, man. I, I've played that deck before. Almost exactly that version. So if I trophy the Teferi there with no interaction in my hand... I mean, I guess like the idea would be that they, they assume I have another counter. Yeah, we, we just died. It's fine. It's a very, very good combo deck. So you can see now, right, how, how they, they just get you, and, like, they just get the Emery if you don't do that. Uh, I can't chat at them anymore. No! Because I think it was because of the last one in the league. That was last uh, match in the league. All right, so not entirely convinced if I want to play this. I think it's tomorrow and or that escalated quickly. No, that's what their deck does. I mean, they had all the pieces they needed. They had the grinding station in the graveyard. Plus, if it, do you use sticky notes? Yes, I do. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure if I want to play this deck in a competitive uh, tournaments tomorrow and or Saturday. Um, I like it a lot, but... It feels like it's just janky in some places. We're going to be doing Bant Control next up. I don't know if I'm going to get through the entire league. Um, but we're going to start it up. That's for darn sure. Uh, stick around, everyone who's in here. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, more thoughts about this deck. I love playing Ren and Six. Um, one of the things I love about a lot of the Nimbizit decks is playing three or four Ren and Six and three, and four, three or four Teferi. I think that's a really good combination of things to be doing in Modern. It just messes and shuts down... 
a lot of the format messes with and shuts down a lot of the format. So I'm not entirely sure about this cryptic command. It was really good sometimes, really hard to cast other times. Uh, Dead of Winter was like medium in this league, but it can be very, very, very good. And the amount of other cards that you have is just to deal with problem permanence is phenomenal. I like this deck a lot. I just don't know exactly how I'm supposed to be playing it. I don't know if I'm making mistakes here or just getting a little bit unlucky, so... Uh, definitely could have mulled more aggressively in that last game to get to to a better spot. Anyway, we're going to be swapping over to Bant Control. If you're checking this out on YouTube, this has been an incredibly long league, so uh, hope you made it through all the way. I have no secret prizes for you at the end here, but uh, we've got a Bant Control league coming up, so stick around. Oh, rental requests on mana traders might be. If you saved a plug for your sticky, you copy and paste it in the window before you do. Are you streaming at a different time tomorrow? I think I'm streaming at a different time tomorrow. I think the the PTQ 